and we should be good to go. I know this is a little earlier. Today, uh, Abby and I are going to be spending some of the afternoon together, so I wanted to start streaming a little earlier. That was always a goal. I like how Apex is putting more effort into the community. I like it too. I, I've been enjoying the changes. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna see a little bit of lag at the start here. I'm just making sure the stream is just uh, solid, so it looks like we're good. I'm sorry about that lag. It's just because I'm tabbed out. We're gonna be playing a lot of Watson today. A lot of Watson. I can't see chat for some reason. That's not good. So give me a second here. There we go. But welcome everybody. Attack, uh, Sam, Monta, Steve. So it's going to be a little probably still over start with stream because we're early. I need to warm up still, so that's perfectly fine. So that kind of works out in my favor. Cars MG and R99. Deadly combo. <clears throat> I'm probably going to snack a little bit of some breakfast because I haven't eaten. Gray Matter, what's going on? It's good to see you. Welcome back to the channel. All right, just warm up time. Yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. I've been grinding a lot recently on Apex. I've been having a good time. I've been mean, still playing a lot of Watson, Vantage, and Loba. I've been switching between the three like relentlessly. I think today, based on the stream, we're going to be playing a lot of Watson. The Spectating series, in case you haven't seen the last episode, is also live on the channel. Definitely got to check that out. I'm going to go to the test range and warm up at least some recoil after this. How are you doing in ranked? I haven't been playing a whole lot. I haven't been playing a whole lot. Uh, I hit diamond, but this week has been really busy, and yesterday I was not feeling well whatsoever. I wanted to post a video about the new mouse I'm using, but that's just going to be for tomorrow, I think. Been doing some 1v1s on the Discord. Since I wasn't feeling yesterday, I didn't aim train yesterday. I didn't aim train the day before just because I needed a, a small break. Because I noticed my hand was getting a little bit, uh, not sore, just a little tired. So I decided not to push it. <clears throat> I don't mind invites every night once in a while. I just, it just drives me absolutely up the wall if, if I get the same invite every, every 10 seconds. And it's like, bro, please, I can't. I'm a human. I, you know, I, I'll see. I'll see it when I, I believe. I'll see it when I believe it. I'll believe it when I see it. Flip flop that. <clears throat> have you ever tried R5 aim training? I want to, but I have never had it installed. I know it's an easier process now, from my understanding. I just need somebody to walk me through it because I don't want to screw it up. I know Ducky was supposed to help me with it, but we never got a chance to. It's been on my to-do list. So then I've been just aim training and regular old aim trainer. Free jump head. A lot of octanes in this lobby. Want you to accept party invites? Mostly because I'm trying to make content <laughs> whenever I, I am on or something or I'm trying to like do something in the range or somebody's queuing with me already. My time in game can be sometimes very limited, unfortunately. You think you could do a custom lobby today? Probably not today. Today we're just going to be playing randoms. I want to work on some Watson and pubs. So I haven't got a chance to really play a lot of Apex this week, and I need to I need to get some hours in. I know we recorded like a spectating series. I think that was the most I played that day, unfortunately. I don't think people realize how limited my schedule can be at times, unfortunately. Just kind of the unfortunate reality of being an adult, working multiple jobs, you know? <clears throat> Especially whenever you have a day like yesterday where I just was not feeling good at all and then I was feeling sick and I just lost so much momentum, you know? But it's okay because we'll catch up on it today. And then it'll be fine.
Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, I jumped right into him. I'm a psycho. Your opinion on Rampart? Um, uh, in BR? I think she's fine. She's very niche, though. I, I really would say the Rampart depends on the player. If the player knows how to play her well, she's awesome. If the player doesn't, then she's very, very weak. Because then people tend to fall behind as a Rampart and not push. It takes somebody like, I don't know, Gaming Merchant to really maximize on like her potential, you know? Or somebody who's passionate about the legend. Kind of like Guapi and Revenant. Like, is Revenant good in BR? Well, it depends on who was playing him, you know? Because there are some really, really rough Revenants out there, you know? Same with Rampart. But if you have a good understanding of the legend, she plays really, really well. Are you feeling better? Thank you. Um, I have some Tylenol next to me in case I don't, but I should be okay. Just need to make sure I'm eating as well. That was like a spray. Oh my god, I actually hit him. I was just guessing. That's why I didn't keep shooting. I was like, maybe I won't hit him. I'm glad to catch stream live repository. Appreciate you tons. Thank you so much. Don't forget to leave a like, guys. Every, every bit helps. I need to pin a comment. Do it is so easy. Yeah, I know. Definitely. I, I need to install R5. It's on my to-do list. Just along with a million other things. Uh, my to-do list right now is to stream. And then uh, Abby and I are going to go run errands. And then I got to record a video tonight. And I got to do a coaching session tomorrow. And then tomorrow is supposed to be my only day of quote-unquote rest. So I'm going to try to rest and I hope not feel sick anymore. And then go back to work on Monday and rinse and repeat. Upload a video on Tuesday. You know, just like, you know what I mean? It's always, always busy. Busy, busy, busy. I might try to do some rank t late tonight. Maybe Sunday. Maybe if, I, if I'm lucky. I do need to get some aim training in uh, again. So I'll probably do that today as well. Because I didn't do the last two days. But I had, again, it wasn't feeling well yesterday. So don't have to worry about that yesterday. And then the day before, my hand was feeling a little... uh wasn't hurting but you know whenever i have any signs of like feeling not stiffness or tired i just like oh, i'll take a little take the day yeah i saw her but i just uh meant to pin it and then i just didn't it was my bad jump pad here nope that's not a wraith that's an octane Hearing that, I don't want to be an adult anymore. It's just busy. It's always working. I work a lot. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Well, we're, we're, the vibes are going to be good today. I'm excited to get some hours in Apex. Um, put some time in a Watson. Work on some of my pushes. It's going to be kind of the goal today. I want to make sure I'm being aggressive today. I, I missed like everything there. That was crazy. Oh my god, do you have a digi? How the heck do you know it was there? Like, I couldn't even see her. I mean, I saw her for like a split second, but man. Oh, the whole lobby's gone. What the heck? And they were facing a Bangalore on steroids. The Bangalore is insane. It's too early for that. Okay. Eight more kills, two people. Need to kill them eight times. My laptop just uh, gave out from the looks of it. Hold on. Not good, not good, because I can't reach out. Why did I do that? Okay, I don't have any chat. That's <laughs> Why me? Come on. Miss any messages? I apologize. I think my laptop just uh, crapped out of me. We, we, Bangalore. Okay, hey, hold on. Let's see. Why is it doing this? Here we're good now. I think. 
Should I use R5 Reloaded Aim Train along Kovacs for Apex? It's up to you, whatever works best. I have never used R5 before, but I, I know that it's a good resource. You have any tips for starting for someone who's starting ranked? Get into fights, especially when you're early on. Like if you're silver, gold, like bronze, you should be fighting. Get yourself into fights. Get into fights. Get into fights. Get into fights. Can't stress that enough. Because you need to play more patient later and actually like play a little more methodically. But early, but if you don't do that like early on, learning how to fight, then. The fundamentals of fighting just doesn't work. So when pros keep saying push, 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 the, the reason why they're saying that is because they need for you to learn how to engage. Like, if you run out in the open and get eliminated, okay, well, I need to work my way cover to cover, or whenever I push, I need to be smarter about this and start dissecting how you're playing the game, you know? Learning from trial and error is, is really key. And if you don't learn, then you need to kind of either have a coach VOD review or VOD review yourself. Usually the, the hiccups for bronze, gold, and, or bronze, silver, and gold are somebody who just doesn't know how to fight, pretty pretty bluntly. And then pl platinum and, and uh, diamond is where you learn pretty much just at least positioning. Being self-aware of your own positioning is pretty much key. And then once you get that down, then you start working on your synergy with your team. And working your way in and like knowing when to push and when not to push. What the heck? Ah! One more. Bangalore. You're gonna be my last kill. GG's. What's your favorite heirloom? Um, mine is the Watson one because I'm a weirdo. Everyone dislikes the Watson one. I like the Watson one because I'm super weird. Looks like your computer also isn't feeling the best, right? I don't know what's going on today, man. Or this, I'm just having some uh, luck. That Mangler did a lot of damage. Hey, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Uh, names don't matter. I appreciate you tons. I'm still working and improving. I still need. I. The, pro the improvement never ends. We're going to do one more of these because I'm still not awake yet. Gamer Dad, it's good to see you. What kind of computer do you have? A custom built one. It's uh, got a 3080 Ti and a 12,900K. Uh, Hello, Horror. What's up? Which legend do you think has the best personality? Bias? Watson. If I'm a little quiet, I'm taking some bites of oatmeal. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't. So I barely ate yesterday. I only ate once yesterday because I was feeling so sick. Which my wife was like, how dare you not eat? I was like, I just I was feeling so sick. I don't know. <clears throat> Three one. I go with a wingman and scout. Why not? I got a wingman in there. Which legend should you open? It's all personal preference at the start. The goal really is like enjoy what you enjoy first and foremost. Hey, what's going, Muhammad? It's good to see you. Hope Fire is doing well. Him and I are going out to. Uh, I think we're going out to lunch on Monday. I have it on my calendar. Really shouldn't double peek this. Crap, okay. No, I have a. It's got like apple or whatever in it. It's not just plain oats. I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> Look at me get, being so greedy getting this. Uh... I got one. You remember the song you made? Of course I do. I just said hello to you. I can't say hello. I wanted to say hi. An eye in the sky. 
I was giving you even more acknowledgement by just saying hello directly to you. Oh my word. Sam, thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you tons. Thank you, thank you. Great to have you. Come back here, Wreath. Wreathy pathy. Oh, that's a bamboozle. Oh, hello. I'm dead and they're gonna jump on me. I cracked him for 90, I'll take it. When'd you get diamond? Like a week ago? I don't know, my sense of time is kinda gone. I've been a little out of it recently. Yo, take con, dude, thank you so much, man. Holy crap. You gonna say how much your content brightens my day when things kinda suck? Throw a Daz video on TV and everything. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, dude, for watching the content and being a part, seriously. We're always vibing, man. We're chilling. Today's a we're chilling kind of day as well. My G7 scout aim is a little off today. Good thing we're warming it up. Kind of while we do this stuff. I really shouldn't be using it close range like this, but I gotta work on it anyway, so might as well. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow, with a 3x2. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for the support in the channel. I really appreciate it. Seriously. Oh, gosh, I'm going to shot in the back, I think. Nope. I thought I was going to shot in the back. Close. I like that we explain, explain small details. I try. Do the best I can. Oh my god, that's really hard in a lower sense. That's a pain. Flicking my mouse and around like crazy. Hello, ed edits. What's up? a little closer than usual. What's my damage at? I'm still high. Could be higher. No, don't die. He's literally one. I know it because I've already hit him for like 50 flush. There we go. Yep. A new member too. Christian, thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you tons. Holy crap, can we get some Nessies in the chat for Taekon and for the new members, both Sam and as well as Christian? What's more important to hit masters, movement, positioning, or aim? They're all fundamentals. You need to work on, it's like, it's like think of it like a like they're all part of your infinity gauntlet, right? You don't want to have all of them in one area. You want to be able to have some decent aim, some decent movement, and probably the, the most important, I guess, would be positioning. You can have, all, you can have all, some of the other ones, but if your positioning is bad, then you're just gonna get caught out and blasted like crazy your team synergy and knowing when to push is also really key though but you can kind of bundle into positioning I suppose this is actually really good practice I'm not gonna lie I haven't used the g7 as much it's been a while ow Can you read my long message? Uh, I don't know how I missed it unless it's it got hidden or something. Repairing 
I didn't I didn't see it here on stream. Can you re just retype it? Maybe you got a uh, maybe YouTube hit it or something. I don't know. I need to do another coaching stream, either this following week or the week after. I'm not sure which one. No, it's up. Let's see here. I'm gonna roll. I'm afraid to play Apex. The thing is, it's an absolute sweat fest. And it's an M and K game. Some would argue it's a it's a roller game right now. Just do the number of sheer pros that play in roller. You just kind of have to get past your initial fear and just queue up and play. A lot of people would argue though that the other way. I think everyone it's just a battle royale. You have one life, and people just fear failure and losing. Don't fear failure. Rush into failure. Make mistakes and improve. But I would say that it's not necessarily M and K game. It's not necessarily a roller game. At the end of the day, your positioning is king, and just play to your strengths and knowing where to position. But everyone has anxiety about queuing up. That's probably I would say the biggest issue uh, that people have is the fear and anxiety of queuing up and then of losing. You're gonna lose, which is kind of the point of like what I'm wanting to do on stream today. I just need to lose. I need to push stuff. I need to make mistakes and take mental note of mistakes that I make. Right now I'm just trying to warm warm up, really. I mean, it's I'm a little up earlier on my stream than usual. Oh my god, that guy is so low. There we go. This round is a little closer than I would like, but hey, I'll take it. That nemesis is crazy. Crazy, I tell you. That PK is also scary. Oh god, PK. I'm dead. I said the same thing. Yeah, you just got you just got to go for it. You just got to full send it. You can't really care what other people think. If you have an issue with it, um put streamer mode on, mute your comms and just pay attention where people are positioning. You don't necessarily need comms to like there's a great ping system in place for a reason. And just queue up and just do you. Play the best of your ability, and if you're not playing the best of your ability, then you'll improve because you'll know what to work on. But most people, the problem that most people have with improvement is they want to skip the journey part of improving, and they want to get right to the point of just being good. But that's just not how improvement works. You kind of have to go through the weeds of being bad. So every person that you have seen that is good at the game has been incredibly bad at one point because they've made a lot of mistakes. And if they didn't weren't incredibly bad at this game, I'm dead. If you don't kill me, oh my god, you lost. How did, how did that happen? You're using a peacekeeper. That's crazy. You have any tips for Pathfinder? It's all about when do you use your tactical. You're the size of a fridge, so knowing when to peek is really key. Don't overextend on your uh, your grapples. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see Pathfinders make. Use your grapples for reposition, getting height. Don't use your grapples for just catching up it's fine to catch up if your teammates do damage and they're in in it and you need to like play a little catch up but then i question why you're behind to begin with because like if you push in and the team says they need to push out and you don't have your grapple well then you're kind of screwed kind of you gotta you gotta think like chess you gotta think a few steps ahead All right, let's try to do some um, some trios, I guess. What well, better to stream Twitch or YouTube? Whichever one you enjoy more. I 
There are successful creators in both platforms. If you enjoy Twitch more, stream on Twitch. If you enjoy YouTube more, stream on YouTube. Yo, boss guy, what's up, man? Who was the first legend you play when you play Apex? Bangalore, and then a lot of Lifeline. Do you do coaching? I try to do it for free, yeah. That's the goal. I don't really sell services. <clears throat> but because there's always a list aligned and because I do it live, those slots are always limited. And I just raffle them off. Well, if somebody's starting out, it's just about starting the process and then figuring out where you want it, what you want to do and how you want to grow. It's like somebody says, what's the best way to become an actor? Do I become a TV actor? Do I become a Broadway actor? Do I just start shooting for movies? I don't know. Just do whichever one you have most fun with. Start networking. Start like you just got to get you got to get in the pool. You know, at least get in there and do something. Oh, we got a third. That's amazing. I didn't see him connect earlier. I just have like a magical crypto appear out of nowhere. Oh my gosh. We're splitting this building. What is this lag? Oh my god, it's server's dying. And my ping is high too. Holy crap. That's 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 crazy. What do you enjoy most about Watson? Her uh methodical gameplay. What is it with this server? Maybe that's why I saw that guy loading late. That's crazy. I got a rem Nessie early on stream made my night. Nice. I love it. Gotta love the Nessies. Let's see, what can we use here? I should craft up my armor, but it's fine. Hit the console too. And tomorrow, what's up, man? Long time no see. What do you again? I, I guess with Watson again, it's it's really about your. Uh, I don't know. I just it's just different because Watson just doesn't have like a free out, so you really have to be smart about your positioning. And Watson is really a counter to a lot of legends. Their ultimates like Bangalore ult, Gibraltar ult, like just a massive counter to a ton of legends. And it's really exciting. It's like it's really really fun and exciting to do. I wish. Uh, but even though they're counters, like you can still counter Watson, you know. Like it's not impossible to beat a, a Watson. What is with this server? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is perfect. Thank you. I'm. I i do not know. This this server is like. I'm gonna get into a fight, and it's gonna be like. You know. What do you call it? PowerPoint. PowerPoint presentation time. It's PowerPoint presentation time. Oh yeah, we're still early for today too. I figured the change in stream time would be a little different too for people showing up, which is fine. And again, don't forget to leave a like. You leave a like, it helps people find the stream. Let me drop this. I have way too many of these. Um, like that. I wish I could play one game with you. I try to play with as many peeps as possible. In the Discord, we're doing like one v ones a few nights ago. I try to get involved. I try to try to do the best I can. It looks like it's starting to even out though. Like the you see how it's finally dropping. My gosh. Maybe somebody was DDoSing it? Do people do that in pubs? Is there even a logical reason to do that? What do you gain out of it? They take the zip outside of, No, it's still here. It's on this side, I think. Wait, where'd it go? It's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's still there. I don't know. 
Maybe the server's so bad that it's just not loading in things. Right here. Oh shoot, I'm so dead. Oh man. Why can't I res? That's unfortunate. It wouldn't let me res either. That was the server was so laggy, it wouldn't even let me res. I was like, I pressed it like three or four times. I was like, what is going on? That wasn't bad though. That was fine. It just the server was so laggy. That was insane. The TDM servers are fine. I don't know what's going on there. What do you think of Catalyst? I think she's an underutilized legend. I think she's one of the hardest legends to push, especially when you're playing in Broken Moon. Like, it's so difficult to fight against her. What do you mean, really gain? Doing it in rank, DDoS seeming zero a lot. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like in general, like you don't gain anything from doing DDoSing anywhere. But like even in, like in pubs is like the worst offender. Like what what do you what, are you trying to win pubs? Like it's bad enough people are doing it in ranked. It's crazy. When are you gonna be playing ranked? Um, probably next week in the next spectating series episode. Oh yeah, Spooky's an amazing catalyst. He plays her really, really well. He's also, a fun to learn, a really great chess player, which makes a lot of sense. Hey Austin, what's going on, man? What legend do I not like to play at all? Caustic. Okay, this server's fine. I don't know what was wrong with the other one. I don't have any packet loss. I think the reason why they put it for Diamond Plus is that's what most people are trying to abuse it the most, probably statistically. You know, because they're trying to, you know, screw up the high tier players. Because sometimes aimbot and wall hacks just aren't enough to beat a, a high end player, oddly. It is very obvious when somebody is uh, cheating. Sometimes, I guess. I guess that sometimes I can't even tell, to be fair. I say that, but I'm like, when in the moment, I'm like, I actually don't know. <laughs> but it, it's, in the higher tier lobbies, it's kind of, sometimes when somebody's so blatant, it's so obvious. And also whenever they're soft walling, maybe their gameplay just is like not up to par. Go for center. No, I just think that most people at the lower levels don't have as much of an issue. The higher lobbies tend to have more of a problem. I'm sure it's a it's a cost issue. Oh my gosh, every time I shoot, she's moving down. Good damage. I took an enemy down. Pretty good for an electrical engineer, no? Reloading. Oh my god, I hit the thing. No! I have to reload. I was hoping that the gold mag would, or gold bullet would reload. GG's. I kind of threw. How's the rank grind been? I haven't been able to play the last couple days. I got diamond like four, five, four or five days ago, and then I haven't been playing since. 
I was hoping the slide jump would reload the shotgun and just didn't work. It was just on your team at three. So, oh, dude, you're fine. That server was also. Well, you're lagging as well, or was it just me? Was your server just like dying? Because I was getting insane. Like, if you go back in the VOD, I was getting insane packet loss. Like, it was crazy. And my ping was way higher than normal. Watch the ping was an issue. It was just the packet loss. Really, like, I can play at higher ping, even up to 100. Like, I don't mind that. It's just whenever you see massive packet loss, that's a ma massive problem. Okay, we'll go back. What do you do in your free time? Which other games do you like to play? I don't have time for other games, unfortunately. <laughs> um, at my spare time, I am working, consulting, aim training, Apex, uh, and then trying to be a dad and a good husband. You know? That's it. That's all I do. That's all I get time to do. There's no time for anything else. I still would like to beat the Resident Evil 8. I may stream Resident Evil 4 on stream. <clears throat> Just because I know uh, I won't be able to play it off stream because I won't have time. So I'm probably going to do it on stream. But that, that's literally all I got time to do. And I need I need time to actually hit the gym. So that's also my to-do list of things I need to have time for. So if I were to do something else, I would I actually would probably be hitting the gym. But I just that's one thing I haven't been able to do as much. There's always something that we've been I've been working through, figuring out. Like it's just there's a lot always going on. It means that life isn't necessarily boring. It's busy. Guy over there. Here. Oh, that beam. So fun. So good. If I zip across right now, they might look and turn. No, they're running. Okay. Chasing. Whoa, hello. Whoa, I'm glad he's on our side. Didn't peek again, that's fine. I think I have a hair in my mouse. I wonder if it's gonna spin out. I'm using a new mouse that doesn't I don't think that does that. Okay, crossing because I don't think they have visibility, but there's a pathfinder over here. What the heck? No! Woo! That was a good flick. That was clean! Oh, there's another team. Oh, shoot. It's not even the same team, guys another squad Did Gibraltar just kill himself? Oh, hi. How are well, you? Okay, you're missing your shots. I'm dead. I'm going back. I killed one already. And I killed another guy. I don't know what team this is a part of. I didn't take that port. Oh god. Underneath. I thought I heard him outside. It's a pathfinder. Recharging my shield. 
I don't know if she's got this. No. Did you see how great I was? I did all kinds of really amazing moves. That was insane. Are you listening? I thought they were all dead. <clears throat> I love the insta reach challenge once Daz realized the guy was choking. Yeah, once I realized the guy was missing shots, I was like, wait a minute. I got that. That's easy. <laughs> Fortunately, I got blasted in the back afterwards by I don't even know who. It gives me a second. Hey, at least we reset. That was nice. Alright, I play Apex to make content at Apex because it doesn't feel like work. If this game ever felt like work, I'd probably do something else. What's your chess rating? I don't play chess. I love chess. I used to play chess a long time ago. And I have no idea what my rating is because I've never I haven't played in a long time. She used to run. Like, I know all the fundamentals of chess because I was taught them. But, I mean, I just, I don't know, I haven't played. I hate that I die every game in Apex. That's normal. You're, you're not going to win every round. And you're gonna run into RNG and skill based matchmaking is gonna only get, get harder. So no stress. Enjoy enjoy the process of improving. Even the even good players uh, get eliminated and die. Part of it. Jazz, how can we identify improvement because it's very slow? You're the one closest to it, so it's always hard to identify. It's like going to the gym week after week. It's very hard to track. You don't notice it until like four or five months later. You're like, oh my god, I lost weight. Or I've gained muscle or, you know, X, Y, and Z. The only thing I would give Watson is the ability to rest some shield back. That's it. At least like 25 shield would be nice. I'm not going to be too greedy with it. But she has like a, a like a solid reset button, you know, for the squad. She's already got the jumper cables for it. And she's already like giving you a static shock. Oh, crap. Is diamond players average? No, the average will be gold. Less than, I would say about 1% of the player base right now is currently diamond. And less are masters and pred. Oh, I'm gonna leave him. I was trying to go for his banner, but I was gonna try to go for his banner, but he left, so that was a waste of time. <laughs> I might just die. Nice. Like I was shooting at him so I can get him off the box, and I was gonna, you know, go for it. But then I just wasted time trying to shoot, so that sucks. It really does. Up. 
Oh my gosh, this is rough. Thy noob, what's up? How's it going? It's a bat there, I need it, but I just gotta go to zone. I might just die anyways, even if I'm skipping some loot. Oh my gosh. I saw the bat there, but I'm already practically dead. So is this wraith. Oh, did the wraith make it? Nope. Okay. Oh my god. Oh man. If you're literally diamond right now, then you're p less than 1% of the player base right now. Are they looking at us? There are no flush heals. Who are they shooting at? We're so screwed. <gasps> Syringes! I'll give him one. Yeah, I'll give you one. Oh my word. I'm so dead. This is it. This is the end. No! No! I needed to shoot at the ult, but I didn't have time. Feels bad. There was no way I was getting out of that for free, though. These guys are gonna struggle anyway. It's like, oof. Yeah, he died his own. Or, oh, they both have Krabers. That's crazy. Loba's Q ability is too hard to pull off in tight situations. Let's play a little Loba. I'll show you. Then let's we'll go back to Watson. You don't use Loba's tactical really mid fight unless you're trying to use it for positioning on height. Or you're trying to reposition and get away. Like literally, uh, also you guys are talking about ranked. Like ranked distribution right now, let's take a look. How many people are in ranked? Let's see here. Right now, if you're diamond four, that is 0.5% of the overall player base. If you're diamond three, that's 0.119% of the overall player base. If you're Diamond 2, that is 0 0.057 of the overall player base. Diamond 1 is so small that it's not even being recorded. So is Masters. If you're Pred, you're a 0 0.06 of the overall player base. And Diamond right now is an astro astronomically low number. I don't really know why. I mean, I know I haven't been playing a whole lot of rank myself, but I'm, I'm actually really surprised for the fact that ranked is such a low, uh, low number. Somebody came in and talked about Loba swimsuit earlier, and I couldn't tell if they were trolling. Hello, Oliver. What's up, man? But I end up not using your Q at all. Currently, still going up every game. It's it's situational. You use it to really reposition. So it's not like something that you use overall. If you're Diamond 3, you're like in a really great spot. I mean, at that point, you're pretty much Masters. And I think Pred, I thought, was only 18,000 RP, which is only 3,000 above uh, Masters right now. It's pretty low, to be honest. I don't want this at all. I'm going to grab the car. Is there anybody here? I don't know from the look of it. Looks like it's pretty clear. Oh, do I do it and grab the charge rifle and be a jerk? Or do I run the nemesis and also be a jerk? They're both pretty, uh, pretty scummy to run. 
You know what? Yeah, I'll take a charge rifle. Why not? Jump right in position. First blood already. That's what happens when you get too excited. Open up shop and shut them down. One minute and the ring is fit. Mama's got you now. Ring closes in 45. If you're hurting, walk it off. Early on, when you're first looting and you know that nobody's nearby, it's perfectly fine to use utility to speed up your loot pattern rotation. Otherwise, uh, you shouldn't be using it when you're out in the open unless you're trying to reposition and get out. And ranked is very situational. Like if you're trying to get, let's say like we're being held out right here and I need to get to that door right there. I could use my Q to like rotate that way instead of running, running out. You know what I mean? What do you think is most underrated heirloom? Um, I wouldn't say Loba's is underrated, but I think it's a really good one. Ten seconds until the ring closes. I don't know what's underrated in terms of heirlooms. I don't know. That's a really good question. I need to look at some stats for that. Like, what's what's underutilized? Like, do people not use Watson heirloom? Then that's underrated. If people like, if like a mass majority of the player base doesn't have Loba one, then I would consider that underrated. But I don't. I just don't know the stats. I think Loba is very underrated as a legend right now. I think she's fantastic. I forgot to hit the pillbox over here. Hmm. Don't really need anything. Okay. It took my battery. It's fine. I got four. Usually there's a lot of people that land here in core, especially when it's because we I dropped right off the drop ship and nobody landed here. Broken Moon, can, Broken Moon can be so hit or miss on where like opponents are. It's pretty wild. We have a new kill leader. I can't wait to I need to level up my armors, anyways. One more good hit, and I have my armor leveled. Plus an heirloom, it's this thing. Like an item everyone has. Uh, most legends have them. At this point. Just gonna keep taking a different angle until I find an opening. I get the feeling I'm gonna shot on my right for some reason. Oh, there's one. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, hello. No, I suck. I didn't check my left. It's unfortunate. What? ZFK? Hmm. Alright. Oh, I think he disconnected. That's unfortunate timing. That was really bad. I thought my teammates were going to rush in. I think he just DC'd. I think that was the problem. I was wondering why I didn't have any cover. Or like when I backed up, like nobody shot the blood or anything. I was like, I know I got caught out, but... Man, that sucks. Want to use Q to run there? I was hoping just to get behind cover. I didn't want to get too far from the fight. Because I tried to turn and then shoot. I decided to go for the option of just shooting instead. And then get around the cover corner enough because my teammates were close by. What do you say the difference between Diamond and Masters players? Knowing when to get into a fight and when to get out. Of course, I guess also, I guess their level of mastery from like aiming and movement, like just like a, 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 I would say like it's a higher level boost across the board, but just really their knowledge of how to work their work their way in and out of a fight. Hey, Nat, what's going on? Should I keep playing solo no field duels or play with randoms? Do both. They both teach you something different. 
Look, I just got caught on the left. I, I didn't know what I didn't. I don't know if, if in my peripheral, if I even saw them, I would have to go look at the VOD and say, were they there to begin with? I they didn't take any shots. They they held up very patiently, um, and they caught me out essentially. I flicked over, tried to do a little bit of damage, hoping my teammates were close by because we we had the the three v two. Um, I opted not to use my Q because was the fuse is really close by. And I was hoping that the fuse would have maybe blasted them. You know, I was really hoping for some of that cover. <laughs> but I think the other guy DC'd. What is my rank? Bronze. Actually, rookie. Rookie right now. I'm really bad. I need to get my first 2k. What tips do you have? Make it to get... Make, gotta just make it to the end game. It takes shots from a distance. Most people don't take shots early on from a distance. Don't be afraid to miss your shots and try to go for an encounter. Especially if you're an earlier rank. You know, why not just try? Because then you'll learn how to beam from a distance. Like, just try. Like, give it a give it a shot. Instead of just, like, playing scared and passive the whole time, you know? Jeez, there's a lot of people there. Need to reposition. Maybe this other team will push on the back, potentially. Or not, my teammates just left. I've got a minute to dig up something good before the ring closes. Take height. There is another team nearby. Oh, that sucks. Rip, rip. Where's the other team? Oh, there was one more team. Not a bad play, though. At that point, once I engage, I, I, I really assumed that there was still another team pushing underneath. But I guess that was it. Because there was a team that shot the fuse in the back, and I wrapped around. And so I was really confused in, like, why they didn't push. Unless they just they mopped him up, then that was a team that they that they finished at the end. I think. Thank you, Cubby. I'm I, I always work to improve, though. It really differs. Uh, like an example, when I saw my teammate, like my teammate ran in. The Ash ran in with no information, and I saw there was opponents left and right. So I held the door waiting for an opponent to either over commit so i knocked one on the right I, I think i knocked two on the right well knocked one on the left and then knocked one on the right and there was still people the ash ran in but i'm not going to grief my game because the ash is getting shot from two different angles if i rush in the only thing that's going to happen is i'm going to get shot from two different angles the fuse decided to also push in but got shot from the back the minute we got shot from the back the fuse should have went with me to my angle and reposition and hope that the other guy would also go for a uh, like a sandwich essentially then we would take height or take our ankle and then hopefully clutch out the fight and that would be it so the thought process is to kind of duck and weave and get in and out of the fight like you just don't run into a crossfire or you know assume you're going to get sandwiched in the back and assume that you're going to be able to have that much ammo or hp to survive like four different people because there's three people in the back and then let's say there's two in the front so five five people you know should I tap Schaefer on every corner? Not really, you know. I mean, it's helpful, yes. It just depends on the situation. Shit. 
should be a guy over here on the right. That's unfortunate. I thought they'd be over here. Bad spray at the end. Bad control. Push this over here. Looks like it's just one, so we might as well shove this. Oh, it's two. Unfortunate. I don't have my cue. That was really unfortunate. I thought it was just one. I hope I can count on you. I we're fighting over the door. Winger, let's get the winger doodle. The doodles of doodle. Okay, move up on this. Wow. Oh, shoot. I'm stuck on the door. No, I was about to swap. You got that. Let's go. Very nice. I'll craft the banner. Another one. Another one. Another one. Don't res. Don't res. Use me as knockdown if you if you need to. That was a lot of teams. Drop shield because she's using me. It's unfortunate. That's okay. That was a good fight, though. A lot of good momentum running around. Did I enjoy my last match? Actually, it wasn't too bad. That was a lot of teams. I How many teams are there? Four or five? How long have you been practicing aiming? I've really been upping the amount of aim training in the past six weeks. Can you play Valk? I usually, my mains are Watson, Loba, and Vantage. That's usually who I'll play on stream. Whenever me, I hot drop, I can never get a gun or, or a gun for the situation I'm in. You need to learn how to master every gun so then you can use it effectively or know how to work your way into a fight to use it effectively. That's one. And then two, when you're landing, it's your choice of where you land. So land where you know there's loot. Can you play TDM? I did it at the start already, yeah. Are there any noob friendly guns in this game? Mm. That's a good question. Charge rifles hit scan. It's busted. Nemesis is really strong. You just go for the overpowered weapons, you know? I wouldn't say there, I mean, it's not really, it's just learning just all the guns in general. You can make the wingman be very comfortable on somebody who's new, you know? Do you have a video on approaching a fight? I understand duck and weave. Yeah. Um, I have several videos. I don't really know what I've titled them specifically. But there's a lot of factors. Do you know if there's another team nearby? I mean, when we're hot dropping, I'm hot dropping just to continue to fight and just get, understand pressure situations. Like That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. You know, just like dropping hot, just getting involved, having a good time. Like, if this was ranked, I don't think I would be landing this. I wouldn't be landing this hot. I would be landing where... If I see four teams land here, I would land to the next POI, grab some loot, and then go back in and then fight, right? 
just as most other teams would, you know? You wouldn't necessarily just full send it for the sake of full sending it, you know? I don't know who hit the button in the center, but... This is not a smart push. It's a fun one, but not a smart one. Oh, I can't slide jump. What the heck? Usually I can build enough momentum, but I kind of screwed it up. Ow, that hurt. I'm get pushed over here on the right. Maybe fast. Not exactly what I'm looking for, though. Shoot. I heard them! How'd they not throw? That was Saul that heard the animation. Her mag's gone, she's dead. What the heck? Hopefully I don't get shot from the vantage. Oh, she's there. Hi. Where does she come from? Is she is she the last person? Nice. Good stuff, Octane. I didn't even realize she used her tactical to fly around the corner. That's insane. I didn't hear anything. Did you guys hear anything? I didn't hear anything. Hello, boy. What's up? You playing Lobo? What graphics card do you have? A 3080, 3080 Ti. How much did I miss? We started earlier, which I, I know isn't ideal, but Abby and I are taking care of some errands later. I don't have the light for this, bro. Okay, I have a light. This works, I can fight. What a mess of a fight. We didn't even have a third, did we? I'm pretty sure we queued in as a duo, right? Would you even get a third? Or am I mistaken? What's this guy doing? I can drop another ult, but... We're just circling. Like we have no one. Let's just go in. Let's head that way. I would throw another ult, but we've already looted this POI dry of light, and I need light ammo. I mean, I was circling at first because he said there was an opponent here. Yeah, we know. I don't. I don't think we ever had a third man. It was just been us two. <laughs> I think he just noticed. Like we don't have a third. And like, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've never had one. What's your opinion on Ash and what would you change about her? Ash is fine. I just think that because Rafe's buff got that she's more buff for rotation that Ash gets pushed out more. She's not a bad legend by any means. I think if she's played well, she's great for pushing. I just think that she lacks like clean rotation. She adds instant rotation, but not clean rotation. Because usually her rotation is always in a in a instant push, instant get away. I don't know what I would change for her kit to really make her more viable. I think that her ability to know where death boxes are is slept on. Less useful in a rank scenario. A rank, sorry, competitive scenario. Useful for rank so you know where fights to take place. It's a good pairing with a recon legend. She's probably a slept on legend, I would say. So it, it's kind of hard to say. I'm sure there's a lot of great Ash mains that are out there. I know you don't see her a lot played in high tier lobbies, but doesn't mean that she's not a good legend. It's kind of like saying, you know, Watson, you don't see a lot of her, but she is a high tier legend, you know? Or Loba would be in the same boat. My favorite kind of loot, the kind that's all mine. 
I did not grab any bats because I'm dumb. It's fine. That's some stuff. Well, we got out of that mess as a duo. I'm pretty sure we start off as a duo. I think. Ah, fight. That one's flat. Oh, gosh. Move up. Who's this other person running away? Reggie with five gifted. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you tons. What the heck? What happened to my octane? Might need to craft him. This is a problem with falling behind. Oh shoot. Okay, I got some good entry here. It's always fun. Mm, might as well. Let's try to go for it. Then I can get the banner. Cross so I don't get shot. Such a greedy grab though. Normally I wouldn't do that, but because I could craft it. I feel like I'm kind of out of options though. Playing for a little bit. I'm gonna try to res you here. Maybe the team will get distracted by the other fight. We'll see. Thank you so much again, Reggie. I appreciate you so much, dude. Guys, can we get some love for Reggie in chat? Just for the five gifted? That's amazing, dude. I really appreciate it tons. This team should be scared to come back in. And they put a Watson gen here? Hmm. But, uh, I don't think this ult's gonna do a whole lot, but. I don't know where they went. Oh, they're. Oh, nope. Thought it was a person. It's not. One minute until the ring closes. Still got time to loot. There they are. Okay, we just gotta get to zone. We just, got, we just gotta go to zone. I'm gonna try to hold for him once it cross. He's running out, you keep running, watching. You're good, you're good, you're good. Almost cracked him. We gotta keep going. Yo, you press the button. Let's go, dude. 28 months. That's insane. I appreciate you tons. Alright, they have way better armors than us. Considering their squad of three with all reds. That's gonna be rough. Just need to find an opportunity where we can, you know, rotate in. Mmm. I'm not going to take that. I might die. So I'm going to take this and go up and then take some shots. 78 and 1. Okay, I don't think I can get this guy. I'm going to have to leave him for a second. Yeah, they're full sending. I can hold up top up here for a second. Put my ult. Turn and look. Up 
I'm so done. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. No, there's another squad! Unfortunate. <laughs> GG's, GG's. Well, at least we got third, I'll take it. That was a that was an uphill battle since uh, the start. I was hoping the other team was a little more north, but they weren't, so that's unfortunate. Army, right, yeah, we go again. Why use acceleration? I am not using it at the moment. They were shoving up so they were shoving top so hard. I was dead no matter what. Let's do it. If I see people with good skin sweats, do I run or fight? Just because they have skins doesn't mean they're sweaty. They could be horrible at the game and just have money. Judge their armors. If you shoot at their armors and they got red, that means that they're definitely sweating in the lobby. Now you may not be able to survive that. If you have reds and they have blues, you have the upper hand. It's all about assessing whether or not you could win the fight. If you have reds and they have whites, listen, you're going to win that fight most likely. If you have people shoving you with white armor against reds, they're they're insane. Not even a, a a pro player would do that unless they shredded you for 180 damage or something crazy and was like, "Wow, this person with red is absolutely horrible at the game." You know? And if that's the case, you probably deserve to be pushed because that's crazy. How did you get shredded for 180? You know, while pushing somebody with white armor, did you not trade any damage back? Like, what happened there? How'd you get caught out? That's rough. It's a hard situation. Benevolence. Thank you so much, man, for gifting a sub. I appreciate it. Vantage or Gibby or a control legend to lock an area down. Depends on the player. If I have an amazing vantage player, that's awesome. Like, it's hard to get a good vantage on the team. Most people play vantage player very badly. I forgot to get this in here. I need to rotate. So like I said, it depends. I don't necessarily have one preference or the other. It really depends on how how they play the legend. Whether or not they are good or bad at it. Alright, set the beacon. Oh yeah, advantages are sorry, Catalyst is definitely a sleeper pick. Right now there's a lot of legends that can be played at a very high skill level and really offer a lot of, to the team. Especially consider Catalyst can find end zones. I mean that's very much slept on right now, like hundred percent. What legend do you think has the highest skill ceiling? I think it's a matter of opinion. I always feel like Watson is just such a big brain legend, but that's also just my opinion. There are other legends with very high skill ceilings as well. Like, you know, you got Pathy, grapples everywhere, you know, movement. Um, you could have a Wraith that just really knows how to port. It's just kind of min-maxing your legend. Now, I said this a lot when I was uh, helping coaching somebody last night, where when you're not on the legend, you want your team to miss you. Otherwise, if they don't remember what legend you were on, it means that you probably weren't using enough utility to for it to really make an impact, right? Mm, I'm gonna drop the light mag for this guy. Maybe he'll come over and be incentivize him. Attention. 
Let's go to zone. Yo, Austin, it's great to hear, man. Appreciate you for watching. Oh, it's a 2x? Uh, I'm, I don't mind it. I'm just running a 3x right now on, the, on this gun. 3x is also amazing. I prefer irons or the HCOG on the car. If I'm going to use it close range, you know? And there we go. Crypto does as well. I mean, but that's that's my point. It becomes a matter of opinion who you say is a high skill ceiling. I, I I guess you could say any legend can have skill expression, right? Where you could see the skill of the player come through based on their decision making and when they put down ults or offenses or crypto ult or when they use their Maggie Q, whenever they decide to use a rate port or whether they're moving as a pathfinder or, you know, everything just kind of matters on the individual player to showcase the expression of that legend. I know there's a team over on the left, but I don't know where. Hmm. This is a rough situation to be in. We haven't fought anybody. Big Mod is sometimes very popular too. Maybe we should just start landing Fragment. I try to land different places just to add some variety, you know? I don't have to land always in the same spot every time, but... Need to get into a fight, otherwise we're going to people with purples. And they're going to look at us with whites and just start shoving. Because we still have whites. I'll probably craft my arm up over here. You say KD matters to a certain degree, maybe. I don't know. I've seen people with good KDs just play absolutely like garbage. So, it's just a matter of like... You can have a good KD, but what if you don't know how to fight? What if you only get like two kills around and your KD is just good because you don't die, you know? I don't know. Let's craft up my armor. I can't. I can't stay here with blue or white. Let's make sure before I do it. Okay. Tell me why I'm bronze, but I drop with some diamonds. Probably because a uh, diamond queue was taking too long, so therefore they got bumped up. Can you explain how duck and weave works? You go into the fight, take some shots. What the heck? Oh, shoot. Use a second poke. You're up there. Peek again, buddy. Oh, they ran inside. If I shove down, I'm just going to throw because the ult is up. You push this forward, I'll push. Oh, he's up top again. No more eyes for you. All right, I'm going to flank on this side now. Sorry. Boost me up. I think he wrapped for the banner. This is just oh shoot, hello. That surprised me. Can you turn the game volume up? Sure. There you go. <clears throat> Ducking, weaving is just doing some damage into a fight and then backing out, not getting greedy and overextending onto a fight. Let's say we got that knock and then we decided to hold because we knew there was another team nearby. And then we heard the other team push and then we decide to push instead. I'll see if I can find a good example of it. Um, I did it earlier as Lobo where I pretty much decided to flank and then hope and I, I called where I hope this team will, will push in sandwich. 
Um, the last spectating series episode that I did kind of shows a really good example of like patience. Over there, on that ping, it looks like somebody's behind us. What's your opinion on Rampart? Would you place her with Watson and Caustic? I would place her lower, but it depends on the player. If the players go to Rampart, by all means, I'm like, as long as they're a good player. But if they're not a good player in Rampart, then it's she just drops dramatically on the on the tier list. Because she is a, a legend that will fall behind. As long as your Rampart doesn't fall behind, then I'm fine with a Rampart in the team. Or she's using her walls aggressively, smart to bunker people in, you know, all that fun stuff. Might be a team that comes through here. Might hold this for a minute. Just for a second. And then we'll move. Somebody hit the fences here, so it should be here. There's probably gonna be a team right there. I'm not necessarily worried about it because we have better armors now. I'm just waiting to see if these people actually rotate through. Because I don't want to move forward here, get sandwiched in the back, and then have to deal with this team over here. I'd rather just deal with these guys now and fight them. Because then these guys have to move an open field across towards us to fight here. There they are. There they are. I knew they would come here. A little damage moving up. Not a lot, but a little. Bamboozle, bamboozle for the foozles. Nice. Okay, let them go, honestly. That's what I talk about duck and weaving and fighting. Their team is going to rotate. Now we need to move this way. We can't get too greedy on this. I'm, I don't mind getting the light and holding for a second. But you see pushing all the way through, the zone is closing. This is a greedy fight then, you know? It's pubs, but I mean... I don't have any dots. We'll, we'll lose it. All right, screw it. It's pubs. Because then we have the uphill battle pushing right here. It's going to be a pain, but it's not impossible. I'm going to shove. I assume there's more teams on the right side than the left side. Oh, you would have already seen the left side, you know? Make sure I'm not getting shot in the back. The teammates are chilling outside of zone. This isn't a bad place to hold. What can we accept, accept, expect part two? Um, it depends on her schedule as well. On my schedule, it just has to line up. Sometimes when I make content, I'm doing it during like the work day, you know? And it's midday and usually she's taking care of Miles or Miles is sleeping. Where is this team on this left side that I predicted would be here? Are they all just on? There's no way that they're all on the north side. It's got to be at least one still remaining. Okay, I heard a shot. I'd rather go on the right side though, rather than tunnel and get sandwiched. So let's go on the right, wrap around and go this way. It's gonna pull towards Skyhook. We'll shove whatever team's up here. It shouldn't be on the roof for now, so that's not a problem. Let me take roof instead. Yeah, and then we can go just push into Skyhook. I think that one rat is still running around, but I don't know where they're at. This is literally just one person. Hey, Luke, what's going on, man? Thank you, Tulsa. I appreciate you, dude. Oh, I meant to jump, jump sooner. Whoops. No, you got away with one HP in a dream. Okay, 
Okay. Oh, hello. What the heck? Meet you inside. Oh, I screwed up. That sucks. Oh, there's three. Shoot. That's not what I was expecting. I thought it was just one. Okay. Got to think I said the box here. Okay, thank you. I saw the box done. What the heck is going on, man? I right, try the the door the this area right here. Oh, you're going you're going down. Shoot. Oh, I gotta reload all my guns. This sucks. Oh, gosh. I thought they were gonna circle around. That's unfortunate. They went right back to the floor. I don't know why I thought they were gonna chase. And I was gonna be able to, like, duck around and, like, hit one in the back or something. But they were just all there, and I was like, crap. GG's. Look at a fight. Oh, the Mirage is on a whole different team? That makes sense, actually. Huh. That does, actually. I was wondering why they were playing so split. I, Because, okay, that's what I thought what, what was going on there. The Mirage was down below, and there was I thought there was two people above. I thought one would chase, and I would be able to catch one off guard, and there was three people on the floor. Because I shot the Mirage at the bottom, I could have sworn that it would only be two people on the above floor. But because the Mirage was part of the different squad, that makes sense. I just thought the other guy was still ratting still, to be honest. I was like, oh, okay, I'll just circle around. Maybe there's two people here, and maybe you did damage to one, and we can catch this duo out. No, it was part of a different squad. Oh, that sucks. I should have counted above who, who was up there, because I know it was Octane, Wraith, and... In Lifeline, I should have realized that the Mirage was part of somebody else. I should have just put two and two together in that moment. I just didn't. That's unfortunate. Do you have a video for best habits to start becoming a better player? I'm sure I do. They have so many guys on the channel. I don't remember one off hand, though. Any tips to keep yourself focused in the game? Well, I was talking about this last night, too, actually, when I was coaching. It's really about treating the game like a speed run that you're always active in doing something, even the early game. The early game is the most boring, right? Even if you're in early fights, mid games, excuse me, the mid game tends to slow down a bit, right? So you're, it's kind of your job to um, try to keep engaged, and I'll show you pretty much how you do it. Yeah, we got third party. I didn't realize it was, I should have thought about that. But we went for some plays. I, get, I made, made open. I try to like create different openings. All right, let's see where people are landing this time around. So we're not landing by ourselves. Okay, two teams, big mod. Let's go stream rebuilding one up. Any chance in dropping a 10k 40 bomb? Just tell everyone in the lobby to just stand still. All you gotta do is DM everybody and PayPal them all. Alright, GG's. 
Mm, I don't like that right there. What the heck? I thought I saw a shot from here. What the heck is going on? It's a bad res. Mm, maybe it's fine. Nice. I don't have I don't have much ammo. What aim lamp scenario should I use for tracking? Diversity is key and making sure that they push you and that they feel difficult. Within reason. There's not like I, I switch it up a lot. Like you have to switch it up so you you keep engaged with that, you know? See if there's anything down here. Oh, there's not much. I need a loot. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna just pass the field the last bit there. Okay, that's enough amp light ammo now. Oh, here's something on the left. Oh no, those are the aircrafts. Good fights, nice, nice and fun. Oh, I'm a coming for you. I can't see. I can't see. Did they kill her? Yeah, they did. I need your light, please. That was a horrible fence. Wall bounce up. And so. I just shoved my gun right inside of her. I'm like, I, I don't know where the gun started and her body ended, you know? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Watson difference. Watson difference. That was fun. Dude, light is like just non existent in this lobby. It's crazy. There we go. How do you stretch res? You just change it in your settings. Uh, you could just do 16 by 10. I set my monitor straight up to 16 by 10, so it's my native resolution. Everything looks fat. But if you guys enjoyed the stream, don't forget to leave a like. I appreciate you guys. I fall, fell behind for my squad mates. I'm crying, I'm screaming, all the above. Where are they going? I think they're clearly playing together. I just hear something on the right. Thought I heard something. I'm going insane. I'm going cre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Evil today. 
I wasn't even there. I'm not even close and I'm still doing damage from a distance. I love it. Wait for Watson. I said wait for me. Lots of screams will shake her Walmart scatter at you. Yeah, what's up? Oh, cracked it from a distance. I need your boots, your clothes, and your motorcycle. Seer doesn't want to play anymore? Does Seer not want to play? Will you ever be number number one player in the world? That's, that's such a debatable stat. Even when I was number one sniper in the world on, on Battlefield, I still didn't feel like the best. Best at what? Calling rotation? Best at IGL? Best at support? Best at recon? Best... Best at Watson, best at, at Loba, best at, like best at what category, you know? There's always like a, a best. So it's kind of hard to uh, identify what would be the best. We're having this conversation actually within Sora when we're do having water cooler talk, essentially. Where we were discussing uh, who's better, LeBron James or Michael Jordan. And like who's the best player of all time. And there's so many debates on other players, you know, like... It's just not just a one-size-fits-all kind of scenario, you know? What? Is this a different team? Hello. How did she open the door for a second there like that? I was like, huh? Dude, she opened the door at me. What a psycho. I was like, huh? Oh, gosh. You're over the way over there. I need to hold height. Okay, I'm good now. I'm good now. I'm good now. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Wow, good shot, dude. Holy. The guy with Sentinel is a menace. Better to top off. No, don't die, don't die. No, I should I should stop healing. That was, that was my throw. That was a good fight, though. I should have stopped. He just grappled right up. Not offensing Watson. Oh, how dare you! Once we got the knock, I should have just kept shooting. Unfortunate. That's ten, those Sentinel shots were pretty nasty. How long are you planning on streaming? Uh, let's see here. What time is it? Uh, just about another hour and a half, give or take. Somewhere on there. Those not a bad fight. The, the shots from the Sentinel were were uh, game changing shots, man. Yasin, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you. Grippiest legend. What does that mean? You mean like Revenant, who can climb walls? Christian won. Good fight. Anyway, thank you so much for the 10. Holy crap. Even though we lost, I got a 10 for that? My god. Holy, let's go. Wow. I should lose more often. Why would you force 16 by 10? I just the way it like the way the game looks. It, at that, it's personal preference. That's all.
Um, I have not. I try my best to keep up with people in the scene. Sometimes I'm just, it's just busy and I'm just unable to digest all the content in a day, you know? Even recently, I just uninstalled Twitter on my phone just because I'm like, I need to cut. Even though I'm always working, I need to find a way to know when I'm working, when I'm not working. And then Twitter is just overwhelmingly, like, overwhelming me with work and all the crap that goes on on it. New players, the gold armor better than the red when you don't have any more bats, yes, for a faster reset. I would prefer red armor if there was more batteries, but if I don't have any batteries and the team is all struggling on resources, then you, one person needs to run gold. Hundred percent depends on resources. If you're playing competitive and you got four bats total, give the two other bats to the other two players, and you st and you stick with uh with gold. Just trying to heal some, uh, trying to heal up a red from with just cells is an absolute nightmare. But one doesn't offer more protection than the other. It's, it's straight up resource management. If I had four bats, uh, everyone runs red. Like everyone should run red. If you're struggling for resources, you gotta run gold. Like, if I ask comps who's got bats, nobody has bats, bro. We're screwed. Somebody's gotta run gold. Like, it's just, it is, it is what it. Oh shoot, there's no gun here. No gun on that end. Hold on, hold on, hold on. PK, yes, I'm ready to fight. Fence, fence, and get some range just in case they're trying to run away. Oh, hello. Where the heck did the vantage go? You know what? This is really dumb. I might get shot from down below, but screw it. <clears throat> Resing. Hey, Mort, what's up, man? Morning. What the heck? GG's. PK is actually kind of hitting. I have been. Do I have any big heals for you? No, I'm sorry, I don't. When you lose all these kills, your teammates lost you, not you. Oh, no. I, I Listen, every fight you can evaluate and say what you did wrong. Like, I, I'm confident I could have clutched that last fight if I just didn't commit to that cell. I don't know why I thought I had time. That was a timing issue. My UI is bugging out. Holy crap. Backing up. Oof. Hopefully there's not another team right here. Whoa. Good spray. I'm out of the fight for a second, man. I'm with it. Let me in. Oh, he's by himself. Shove him. He's by himself. Oh my god. Holy crap. I shouldn't have repeaked that. I should have let my right wraith take care of it. I was dumb. I could have thrown right there. So the revenant got pushed back. The sewers by themselves. That's why I literally was like, push this guy. Because the uh, revenant or the seer was throwing. Oh shoot! Come on! Don't die! Don't die! Let me heal up! Let me heal up! All right, pushing, pushing, pushing. I'm away! I'm away!
I'm gonna tell if it was our thermite for a second. Shoot. I don't have any access to. Gotta, we gotta get out. We gotta get out. Duck and weave. Duck and weave, baby. Who the heck are you? Okay, they're not leaving. Why aren't they leaving? What the heck are you guys doing? I'll push back in. Alright, I'm taking off angle. I like how we both cut her off thinking she was up here. I'm so confused. I thought she took the poor for a minute there and I, I like flicked the other way. Oh nice. How'd you get that bad off in time? What are you, Fade? You think you could use this angles and play like Fade? You think you can play like Fade? I guess I can play like Fade. I've seen these tricks. You can't fool a little Watson with those anymore. Okay, anybody else? That was fun, right chat? I had a good time. That was chaotic. Why is the UI disappearing? I don't understand. Have you th give thoughts on the new aim lab ranked? I think it's really good. There are also better scenarios out there, but it's a massive improvement on aim lab ranked. Right now I'm on masters on that. Definitely more difficult. More difficult than the last one, which is better. I think it definitely needs some tuning. Because one of my scores, I have like top 100 and it's still considered just masters. I'm like, Jesus. You know? No, I, I've been getting the UI book quite a bit. Hey, let's go. We won the fight now. Let's go win the war. I mean, we got a duo. We could definitely make this happen, though. Thank you so much for the five. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, whoa. The heck? What the heck were you guys doing? Camping in a building like that? Holy. Camped in a building, push, and then regretted everything. Interesting. Need batteries. Oh, crap. Oh, shoot. Jesus, I need I need bats bad. Like, please, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. Dude, the PK is hitting today. It'd be hitting. Mm, I'm going to get rid of some of the light. Top off. 
No, please don't go down. We're gonna lose if you go down. Please don't go down. I gotta take height. Oh no. Oh god. That's not good. dude ggs i wish the octane didn't go down man if the octane didn't go down would have a little bit more breathing room the octane went down and that was just that was it man and there was a third squad that sucks so bad ggs that was a really good game though really good game Oh, maybe that's what it is after adding the show POS command. That makes sense, actually. Do you use a macro for loot? No. I didn't even know there was one. I don't know how would that even work. We shoved him really hard, man. That was good. That was a good fight. Man, the PK just hitting today, dude. I'm getting so many 90s. It's crazy. I'm gonna grab a PK more often. Man, did we did we we put that ash down and man it was just that was that was a good fight though. I just shoved the Wraith hoping that the other guy would panic, but I, I think we actually just got shoved by a different team. Does your son like Shiv right now? What do you mean? <laughs> was it the scream? I love Shiv's content, man. He's such he's such a beast. One day I I I crave that Shiv follow. One day. I should have played a little more passive there. I just didn't know the other team was gonna rush in so quick. Everyone just kept shoving us. I don't know, just ask me new to Apex, I use macro for B-Hop and CS. I uh, gotcha. Um, I don't really know what macro you would use for Apex. I haven't used any. I don't think there's any good macros and I've never really used any macros to begin with in a first person shooter game. Like you could make some in World of Warcraft, you know, back in the day, you know? Mostly for, sp I used to use them for spamming inputs in World of Warcraft because WoW used to have a, lo a lot of lag. Or like a target one, or like a target tank pain suppression, you know, like if you're a disciplined priest like me back in the day, or you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's perfectly fine. I'm gonna grab a peacekeeper more often, that thing is crazy, dude. No wonder you lose to that thing close range. I would be so triggered if I got shot by a sniper over there. Gotta reset. Yo, Fireborn viewers just came in. What's up, man? I was just talking about you earlier. Talking about that we're gonna have, uh, we're going out for lunch.
How you doing, man? Hopefully you had a great stream. If you guys haven't, be sure to go follow my man Fireborn. He uh, does amazing Warzone content. He's been popping off on, on YouTube. He's going to be one of the biggest streamers here on YouTube, but one of the biggest content creators in general. So you guys got to follow him. F join him on his journey now and say, I knew Fireborn when. Because, I mean, he's already big now, but he's about to, I mean, like, when I say taking off, I mean it by taking... Oh, shoot. You really went through my fence, huh? What's up, Bang? Please don't have a shotgun. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm trash. I'm trash. I'm trash. I'm trash. I'm trash. I'm trash. The Bangalore's like 40 HP. She's down below. You might be able to res or just finish her one of the two. Thank you, sir. Thank you. One, two, one, nice. Let's shoot, let's get out. Wow, she got movement. I agree, just keep shoving forward. Oh, Fire, thank you so much for the love and for the raid, dude. I really appreciate you so much, man. I can't stress it enough. We all love Fireborn in this household. I'm coming back. I was feeling horrible yesterday, but I'm doing good today. I just was not feeling good. I had the worst migraine ever, I think. You really, you, you, my <laughs> brain broke from what that race just did. I just, I don't know. Just got electrocuted. That was literally what happened to the race. <laughs> and we're back in the game. Welcome back, Caustic. Thank you again. Guys, be sure to click on that link. Go subscribe, like, and support my man Fireborn. You will love Call of Duty content. You're going to love his content. Set the okay, I'm going to jack this. This is mine now. Even though um, there's an alternator there. Yeah, I'm taking I'm taking that. Yeah, I'm going to leave that caustic spot. Oh, wait, this Rafes? Where's the caustic send? Did I jack his stuff on accident? No, it's his right there. I don't think I touched his, right? At least I don't think I did. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're vibing. Wouldn't mind a heavy mag, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. It is what it is. Okay, more teams, where are they? Just go to zone. You love the new MMR? This it's good. It's I think it's punishing for people on the upper end of it, though. Still, but I think that's why it's designed the way it is. You know, you, you don't want to necessarily put good players against bad players. I just feel like my buckets. I feel like when I'm playing pubs, like what you see here, sometimes it feels like ranked man. People are just running around like psychos, and everyone knows how to beam and knows how to peek. It's just like holy, what am I facing? You know. What's your favorite comp this season? I keep switching, man. That's the problem. I, I can't just settle on Watson or Vantage. Sometimes I, I flip-flop, depending who I'm playing with. Lu Lusex, what's up? Hello, Dry. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, Fire is very underrated for his gameplay, man. He's gotten so good, and his aim has constantly been improving. People don't notice it. I notice it. I'm looking forward to uh to to lunch on Monday, Fire. I'm excited to catch up, dude. Why don't they fix console ranked? I think they need to fix ranked in general, but you know, it definitely needs some love. I think it's the one area now that definitely needs the most attention is just ranked. Getting rid of the cheaters, 
like just coming down super hard on it and then making sure the rank system makes a lot of sense in terms of progression so it isn't like halt players Uh, Anita gave a really great example of ranked the way it could work. Is that it, the current format works, but then put more emphasis on placement as a uh, mm. I gotta should run up on this. That's all I can do. I'm gonna take a shot from a distance. No oh, shoot, I'm out of sniper ammo. That's not good. Let's find some quick. Nope, okay. Unfortunate. Ow! I overpeaked that hard. That person was so far extended on that corner, that's crazy. They're just gonna get eliminated. I don't have any sniper. I need to somehow work my way into this fight. I'm porting over. I'm gonna have to move. They're porting over and I'm cracked. I don't have any big kills. And have no sniper. There's a mag there that I didn't pick up. choice but to swap it come on no no it's busted I have no flush shields anymore. I'm so done. So screwed. Thank you. I'm screwed though. Holy crap.
Come on, come on. No, the zone! Oh, if I was just a little ahead of the zone, he would have died too. Oh, man. He would have got eliminated if uh, if I killed him just a second faster and moved up to zone. GG's. That's crazy. That was really close. Their path he just hard through. Unfortunate. I would be very embarrassed if I was somehow like the the Wraith Ego Challenge and lost. And also the Caustic. If I if the Caustic hesitated for one more second, that was a hard throw in the Caustic zone. Very hard throw on their part. Because if I I just needed to get ahead of zone. Just a little bit better there, but you know. Close. Close, 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 man. Ivan, I'm doing great today. It was a good good game. I should have moved on one of the cracks instead. Yeah, it's kinda <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. It's like, oh, I'm not sure if that's a moment to teabag, man. You kinda you kinda got dumpstered on. Your team was struggling in pubs against a Watson. Hey, Matthew, thank you for so much for the sub, man. I appreciate you. Let's see what time are we at right now. I'm doing good in time. Doing good. That was fun. That was a, that was a really fun game, though. That was good. I like games like that. That was, that was fun. The patience almost paid off. Honestly, if I had a bit of a better spray here and there, I, could, I almost knocked the Wraith several times before. What mouse am I using? I'm going to cover this tomorrow in a YouTube video or Monday. I'm using the an Asus mouse, oddly. Okay. I don't know what that was. Where are my teammates? Where are my teammates? I kind of shoved because I thought my teammates were nearby. There they go, nice. No, there's another squad. Oh, the Octane's not even here! Oh, that makes sense. I was wondering what was going on. I was like, how come I don't have a teammate? The aim lab one? Yeah, I'm using the aim lab one. It's a good mouse. I would not have shoved that if I if I knew our Arctan was not here. Oh my gosh, nice. Oh, 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 the Octane's still just sitting here, man. Do you think they'll find him? Like, wouldn't it be hilarious if they just don't find him? Like, honestly, he's just standing right on the bridge. Free kill. They may not find him. He's back? No shot. What? Yo, why you just need to run, buddy? Yeah, get out, get out, get out. Oh my god, he just came right back in time. He does have my banner. Go, Octane! Just go! Oh no, he's dead. He didn't keep running. He stayed for loot, he got greedy, he's dead. I think if he just stood there, I think he had a higher chance of surviving. Okay, that's all right. We go again. We go again. But um, but um, but um, we go again. But um, but um, but um, we go again. 
After this, I want to do a TDM round. Any tips on controller? I always think that rollers need to work on their long range. Their close range is important, but people forget they, they, they minimize long range as it's damage and pressure. You lost your free highlighted message? Wow, what happened to it? It's a good good mouse, good weight, good sensor, good shape. I actually really, really love it. I was using a G303 before, and before that was a super light, and I love love absolutely i can't stress enough how much i love this mouse i'm really impressed by it i'm blown away i wanted to upload a video yesterday on it but i just wasn't feeling well um it's the grooves feel nice um it's yeah it's a light sh it's a lightweight it's uh the i don't know the just the way it, it moves yeah i could do vantages this round I don't know, I can't praise this mouse enough. I, I'm gonna be honest, I never thought I, anything would overtake me on the G303. Because I've been using that mouse for like a little over a year now. I think it's been a year, a little, yeah. And even before then I was using the G Pro. So I like, I've been a Logitech fan for a long time and the fact that Asus, and I'm not a big Asus product person, I, I kind of think that Asus mice have been very lackluster, especially in terms of shape. But this one just like, what they worked on with AimLab is really good, I'm just, Impressed. I, I can't stress how impressed I am with it because I thought I was going to do a review on it and I thought it wasn't going to be the, the most uh, positive review, if you know what I mean. Like when I do reviews, like you could send me a product and stuff, but I'm going to be pretty much honest if I like it or not. And sometimes if I just get a product and I just don't like it, I just don't do a review because pretty much all it is is going to be me bashing why I don't like it. I'll just avoid stuff or I just stop buying certain products because I'm like, I just, I, I like what I like and... I don't know. I'm very picky. But good on AimLab for building a fantastic mouse and something that I actually uh, want to use as my main mouse now. Literally, I've been using it for like a little over a week now and has been fun to use. I'm going to hit the party. Is it wireless? Yeah, it's wireless. And keep in mind, like, I'm a partner with AimLab and I'm partnered with Logitech. And it takes a lot for me to move off of Logitech. It makes me worried, like, <laughs> I don't really use, I use a Logitech keyboard, I guess that's what I use. I was like, do I use Logitech products right now? I was like, okay, I got the keyboard and the rest, so it's not the end of the world. Okay, let's move. Okay, I'll ping that for them. There's some using sniper. Nope, no sniper. Hmm. Okay, wait a staging. I'm gonna go hit that so I know where opponents are at. I watched a YouTube video about Dizzy and what he went through. What's your take? That's a that's a long st uh, that's a that was a long time ago. Now, when you think about, it, isn't that crazy to say that was a long time ago? Isn't that wild? Um. I mean, it's super unfair what happened to him, to be honest. I think it's... I think he should have just stayed within the scene and just kind of pushed through and persevered. I think he was highly respected. His skill was amazing. I think people are very shallow on looks anyways, and I, I just feel bad for the guy. It's I, I think what he did and the, how he pushed the scene forward should be remembered, and the fact that the community kind of pushed back on him like that is just really crappy. I just can't stress it enough. It's just really sad that that's what they did you know like it doesn't matter what the guy looks like if anything it's like i i have the beholder i mean to be honest with confidence and the, what you know the way he can hold himself let's just oh my god the whole lobby's over there let's go over there i didn't think that they were gonna be that dog piled up like that And honestly, maybe those viewers just don't deserve Dizzy and his content. That can also be said. Why, why is a solo all the way back there? This one was from one of the collection events. I can't remember which one it was now. I thought it was the last one or the one before that. Yo, Robert, what's up, man? Thank you so much for being here, dude. Who's Dizzy? He was one of the uh, original, let's say, like pro players that really like made this game what it is. 
it's kind of he's like asu before asu existed dizzy was like one of the few first people who really was just cracked other minds of this game you know i i get why people get burned out of like games and stuff like that and maybe that's pretty much what happened more so as well but huge respect to dizzy for what he did for the scene and shame on his community for essentially bullying him out you know he didn't deserve that dude nobody does he didn't even do anything wrong like he just did nothing wrong it was just people just wanted to be jerks you know and it essentially got bullied use rock cell i did i haven't used it in about a, about two weeks What's so good about it? The shape. The shape and how it sits is huge for me. The mouse skates, the way they feel, and the glide, it's just fantastic. Shape is everything. When you when you when I I'm gonna put a, a review on it. Really the shape of a mouse, everybody has good sensors and and crap these days. Like it's really all about shape and how it feels. And the shape and feel of the mouse is just fantastic. It helps me have better control. Well, I just exposed my positioning, love it. This is a hard push because we don't have good armors. I'm just going to run in there like a psychopath and just throw my game because I run into somebody with purple. I'm going to get some shots in first. Oh, they're going in? Okay, oh crap. There's a team underneath. Oh man. Recharging shields. The team over there. If I move underneath, are they still underneath? How are you guys not being shot at? There was a Bangalore here. Maybe they're just going back for banners? I'm really confused on the information I'm getting right now. I could queue over. Yeah, I'm gonna queue over on at least on this roof. Taking a new angle. <laughs> and just hold for a second. I hear them in this building. There's a team crossing right now. That's interesting. There's only one more in that building. I'm gonna top off first. There's another squad though. That's a problem. I just saw somebody jump and they disappeared from my field of view. Okay, I'm gonna take height. No. I should have looked on my back. That's my bad. I played that poorly. What rank am I? Rookie. Rookie, uh, rookie four. Oh, I should have just checked my back. Pathfinder was dead. Yeah, I think Vantage is a fantastic legend. I think she's underrated. Thank you. I mean, I've been making content for years, and I've had my face in content. The only reason I don't is just because I'm lazy. I, I like this 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 uh, this vibe where people are just watching the gameplay. Um, like in the past, because I was always overworked. Sometimes I look tired. Sometimes I I'm not very ex expressionful with my face. So sometimes like it was just a lot more work essentially. And it just I just got lazy. I'm gonna just be honest. I just got lazy in terms of like. Wanting to set up the camera every day, you know? Because I used to stream with face cam on for three years, and I just decided, you know what? I just, when I was doing YouTube, it's like, I don't think people really, really care about that aspect that much. Like, it doesn't really bother me. It feels like people are listening more to my voice, the tips, the gameplay. Adding my face just doesn't add any educational value, really. I never really thought about, like, oh man, I need to put my face back in the stream, you know? I never really thought about that. With AimLab, we might be showing my face again uh, in, a, in a series. But it's 
kind of about it. I don't have any issue showing my face. I mean, I've been an actor and singer before. I've showed my face in plays and whatever. Like, I don't have any issue. It's just, um, I don't know. Just, I'm just, <laughs> I just don't want to lazy to turn on the camera, you know? I try to think two or three steps ahead. Um, sometimes my two, three steps ahead is not always correct. When I'm dropping hot, you're just dropping hot for the sake of dropping hot. There's nothing on this floor. One more floor down. Nothing on this floor. Hey, bang. I don't have a gun. Oh, I thought he was going to jump off. Crap. I thought I was going to bait him. That's unfortunate. We go again. That's unfortunate. I just didn't get a gun on. Usually there's a gun on those floors, so that's just kind of unlucky. I don't know why I thought she was going to jump off faster after me and then she just kind of stood there. Seems like everyone is dropping fragment today, so I'm just going to keep dropping fragment. Lowbercue, lowbercue, wee, oink. Nice. Out of wall bounce and move forward, you just keep spamming the W key to keep moving forward. W and people bind it to the scroll wheel. When are you going to become a VTuber? That'd be funny. The reason why also in stream, like I don't show my face in my regular guide or content. So it just like if I stream, it just feels a little jarring, you know? I think people are starting to just enjoy me for my voice and that's kind of nice in itself. Growing up, I always wanted to be a, a voice actor. That was, my, that was my dream job. And my other dream job, you know what's crazy? Thinking about it, I, always, I wanted to be a therapist too. Oh, I'm gonna get run up on. Okay, I gotta get out. I gotta get out. Let's pick this care package clean. Oh my god, they're right there. Mozambique. I, I love Lifeline. She deserves everything in the world. I love her so much. I love the fact that she's so iconic for her voice and personality. I think she's great. How the? I don't know how I missed that. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. What? I don't know how I didn't get a climbing it or whatever. Uh, yeah, I'll take the nemesis. There's nothing here for it. Uh, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. Was there another armor? There's not. Grab that. Recharging shield. Yo, Oliver, what's up, man? You guys have a voice school in that house of yours? All great voices? <laughs> hey, thank you. Also to the Josh feed, right? You know, growing up, actually, I was a very quiet kid. I never spoke. I was always known as a quiet kid. Okay, we're going to take an off angle up here. Just try and hide with that shiny tag on you. 
There's another team running up. How did that miss? Crap. Last two teams. Whoop. I'm dropping. Hi. Again. Oh my god, a guy's 1 HP. GG's. Good game, good game. Thank you, Siphon. I appreciate you, dude. You play other games in Ape other than Apex? No, unfortunately. I don't get enough time. Man, I got res so many times. It was so unfortunate. Just couldn't catch a break. We'll go again. Oh, man. Apex had low profile. I still think they need to remove the... Uh, I know Gibby and Newcastle, like, they're bigger legends and they probably need Fortify, but I don't... Honestly, it's so difficult when they push. Dealing with them with 4 to 5 is crazy. I'm visiting my 105 year, year old grandmother this week and she asked if I'm talking to somebody who has a gun. What does that mean? Wait, what? What does the last part mean? We know their wife video. I haven't had a laugh like that in ages and that laugh of hers. When is date night and when will you stream? Maybe I'll have to get her on stream and we could just play like a whole stream together. That'd be really fun. That'd be nice. Oh man, I can't wait to play Resident Evil 4. Like I said, that's the only other game because I know I won't get time off stream and I can't, it would be a disservice to myself. Like I grew up playing all the Resident Evils. Oh, you have no idea how much I enjoy playing Resident Evil games. I just, I'm such a fan of the franchise. Now there's games of that franchise that are just absolutely horrible though. Oh, okay, that makes sense. This is your champion. Oh, we got this. All my life. What are we doing on time? We're doing good on time. Let's go. After this, I want to do a TDM run. TDM. Okay, let's see where people are going to land. Let's just drop high and get involved. We've had some really good stuff today. I'm not going to lie. I know, I don't think we've won, but like, we've had like really good games. And even the games that we've lost, like it's come really close. Like, I don't know. I've had a lot of fun today. It's been a blast. Guys, if you're just new here, don't forget to subscribe. We post a lot of Apex content. Just a lot of content in general that we enjoy making. Reviews, gameplay reviews. Gameplay, uh, I don't know, just everything Apex, essentially. Land here and then we'll third. There's three teams landing Cascade. We can third them after we loot this. I'll let you guys get the closer buildings. I'll land further away. Or you land on top of me. That's fine. They got a little confused. Poor guy. All right, this, this works. I can make this work. I'm going pretty much. We I'm going in bum 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 DMC a break if you're old 
finish up one squad. How the... Oh my god, I'm missing everything today. I think I hit the edge, ledge of that. Oh god, I didn't think you saw me. Oh man, you're just shoving, aren't you? Well, that's on you. The other guy's going in. I'm not really sure why they're pushing. There's two teams here. You gotta slow it down just a little bit. I get that. The other team needs to push or make a mistake. Is this team coming back? Because all I got nine bullets. Holy. This is bad. This is such a bad decision. Oh, God. Oh, I heard through that. It could have been 150 damage. It wasn't. Oh, hi, Watson. Oh, shoot. Hi. <laughs> GG's. Are you going to stream Resident Evil? Oh, yeah. I'm going to definitely stream Resident Evil 4. Okay. So my teammates, I don't know why they just rushed in one at a time. Like, they just barreled right in. But I'm not going to... That's how you just throw because the guy just decided to run in. There was another team. So I was expecting the other team to kind of work their way in. But I guess once they res, they left. I only had a little bit more L-Star ammo. So most of the problems that happens with pubs, especially with your teammates, is that they overextend and make really weird mistakes. I never really quite understood. It's good to play catch up. But then if you notice that there's kind of like a holding pattern, I guess you can call it. Then there's no reason to keep just shoving, you know? At that point, you need to play your, your game strategically because you know there's an, you know there's another team we're holding. You know it's like if I'm not in there, then there's a reason why. You know, just don't barrel in. I guess the biggest thing: never barrel in without information. If you don't have any information, then don't run in. <laughs> Can you stream Rocket League someday? I'm confused. I'm very confused by that question. Um, what does throwing mean? That you're just kind of just making a mistake just to make a mistake, I guess. Let's see where they drop. Yeah, just essentially just losing the match. I, I like the aggression. I love it. But they're all three there, so like they're just holding hands and just waiting, you know? We go to wall! Between the G7, 30-30, and triple, I prefer the- if, I, if you put all three in the ground, 
It'd be between the G7 and 30, and it depends which one I have more ammo and attachments for. The triple take I wish was a little stronger. The G7 and 30 30 are much better. Oh god, you open the door. I wasn't expecting to open the door. I punched him in the face on accident. Your teammates. Wow, it just ran in there, huh? That's crazy. Any better skins for the Nemesis? I agree with that. Good team, good team. This is a solid roster here. Most people don't know this, but you can actually hit an ult excel. Even though your ult is um is in charge all the way. Say Saturday? Okay, let me make sure. Everyone favorite game of follow the pred? <laughs> GG's. <laughs> what if I throw? I mean what I don't intend to throw, but what if I make a mistake? <laughs> it's too late already showed you cracked GG's. replenish the stores you can't win every game off drop you try but you can't win every game I still don't know why is that a person yeah, right here look pray there with level two shields running with I can't lay my sniper shots today never mind I guess I can land a few of them. I, I don't know. So I don't know my sniper shots today. Work our way to the building. Take height on it. And I'm shoving it. Screw it. I don't know where the other guy went. Oh, it's a different squad, different squad, different squad. It's a different squad, we gotta get out. Get out if you guys can. Oh, we got a knock. Crap. I, I'm healing. I'll fly right back. Hold on. I'm healing while I take this jumper. Coming back. Dude, I, I had no HP. I was I was that was such a risky uh I don't know. I saw three people over here. 
I could have sworn I saw I'm mine must have been bugging out. Was this a solo the whole time? I, I literally, my eyes must be tri playing tricks on me because I, I literally thought I saw three people over here. But they knocked a fuse. I'm so confused. What, what like what transpired? You know? Like I'm, my, my, I'm lost. I'm afraid. <gasps> so much energy. Oh my God, it's so fluffy. I'm gonna die. Okay. This is a better round. This is a good round. What do you think about Catalyst? Underrated. Such a good legend. High skill ceiling legend that I don't... I can't play at a high level, but I understand how to... Uh, let's drop some... I'll switch to the car and you know I'll just drop all my heavy. heavy ammo here. Got my name written all over it. Heavy ammo here. Switch to light. Using the nemesis as my primer anyways. What could go wrong? Hey Miles, you're good man, don't worry. Don't worry about being late guys, seriously. The fact that you guys are here means the world, so don't, don't stress. Flesh. Oh, you got a PK, 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 you got a PK. Push in right after the bat. Crap, man. Oh, shoot. I think I'm going to die. back they both went down at the same time I need this guy to overextend on me real quick and I can hopefully kill him oh my god dude GG's Keybind? No, you just click on it in the inventory. Good fight, good fight. That's crazy. I tried to push one of them. I committed onto one of them, but it turns out the other one was closer. So I should have went on the Valks. Even though I full sent the one on the left. That's just unfortunate. Yo, Trashcan, thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you. Yo, what's up, Tyler? It's good to see you, man. How's it going, dude? I was created for this, I think. We go again, we go again. We're having a blast today, it's good stuff. That was a tough fight. Our our Valkyrie needed to heal and reset. Um, and then they both overextended into 1v1s. So I chose one person to go on, but I couldn't cut the corner fast enough to figure out where they were at. Because I followed their ping, but they just weren't there. Just bad timing. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Can we get some Nessies in the chat from any other members? Just hype up the fact we had so many members today and gifted memberships from, from Reggie and just everybody. for the every, every, All the support means the absolute world. I appreciate it, guys. 
I don't know why every stream I just get surprised. <laughs> like, people are here. Pe Who's your favorite legend? Watson. Uh, we're doing a little Vantage right now. Just, I've been swapping between Vantage, Lopa, and Watson today. I thought I was going to be playing just mostly Watson, but some people ask for the Vantage gameplay. Hi. Boop. Wow, look at that. There's no floor with any guns. It's crazy. Well, if I can land a shot. Oh, God. Recharging shields. I might get pushed, but it was a fast res. What the heck? Oh, what the? I wasn't standing directly on the door. That's a whole three stack, man. Which legend should you get? Uh, who are your options? That was another team. How do you feel about Mad Maggie? She's really good this season. She's only going to become Benevolence, second membership for today, gifted. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, let's do uh, let's do TDM. Let's uh, let's uh, warm up a bit more in TDM. Are you aggressive or defensive? It depends on the team and the play style. I like to play more aggro, but that doesn't mean I won't hold for the right moment. You know, it's like knowing when to strike is really key. You can keep shoving and shoving and shoving, but at some point you need to actually play methodically and think like, okay, is this, we're going to pull out ahead of this. Is Watson good for people that just started the game? No. Bluntly. She's a lot more difficult to learn and manage. Mostly because you're dealing with fences and then having to know when to put down your ult and time it against like a bang ult, a Gibraltar ult, or, you know, hitting things. Tips for a super glide. Wait until you're at the tippy top of your climb. And then hit the two inputs, you know, crouch and jump at the same time. Lowering your frame rate is a good way to practice too. Like if you practice at 30 frames per second, it's a good way to practice super gliding. You think uh, you should get her? I mean, she's not bad. Catalyst is great. Any tips on improving? The routines on Aimlamb are a lot more difficult for rank, by the way. Like I'm in Masters and was Grandmasters before, but they're a lot more difficult than they were. So just understand that, like even scores that are top 50 are still considered masters and not even grandmasters, you know? He's a way better head glitch than I do. Amazing. And top off. Doing, to, doing pretty good, Donnie. Yesterday was feeling really sick, but today, much better. Ow, 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 ow. Can I get up? Can I get up? Can I get up? Oh, no. Okay. Need to you ever thinking about posting a video playing Apex with a controller? I've done a guide where I've played it once. Um, I just haven't played Roller in so long. And the reason why I haven't is I couldn't afford a console in college. And so I was playing really cheap PC games back then because the PC served as both work and also I could play like really low graphic games on it. Like I was playing like old world, like Red Alert games like Command and Conquer just because it was uh, the only thing I could afford to do. Do you think an heirloom on your six five hundred pack? Because I have five hundred thousand tokens. You get an heirloom after your five hundred pack, yeah.
My aim's getting a little rusty. Oh my god. Everyone's shoving like crazy. Everyone's doing great. If you can play competitive when it first launched, yes. Way, way back when. Uh, things changed dramatically as I became the general manager of an org. I was getting access to early content and then I was shoutcasting. I shoutcasted ALGS for about a year for APAC North and then I did it for um, EMEA and then uh, North America for a short bit. When they had me for it. I love TDM, dude. It's so nice. Oh, I didn't wall bounce crap. Hmm. Oh my god, I'm whiffing. Rip me. When you played comp, was it with uh with Finn? What does what does Finn mean? You think you might return to competitive? I don't think I'm able to, to be honest. Not based on my position that I have within the org and as much stuff that I do. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I could probably do it for fun, but then I I don't think I can do finals. I think at one point it was definitely a, a dream to want to do competitive, but then it just doesn't make sense from a financial standpoint. Oh, you mean finicky. No, I didn't play comp with finicky. We played against each other when I used to play. I think now finicky is actually a play tester for Apex. I think that's his job. That was close. Oof. They say knowledge is power. What will you do with it? That's what's important. How old am I? I am 21 years old and super young. Still right out of college. Yeah, that's me. I'm gonna push this. No, I'm, I'm like 65 years old. Ow. Am I getting pushed? Nope. The Hawk, what's up, dude? Oh my god, there's five people in here. Four, 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 four. How do you manage... How are you able to manage your time between your day job and YouTube? I feel overwhelmed just from school and work. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna be honest. My wife thinks I'm insane from how much I juggle. That's a very great question. And it just means that you have to work very fast and diligently on everything you do. So whenever I work, I mean, I'm like literally working. Like I'm wired in, essentially. And make sure you don't make mistakes. 
because mistakes cause you to have to do the jump twice. Out. No coaching today? Um, I haven't done a coaching stream in about a week. I need to do it again. I agree. I mean, about a, I guess it's been about a month. Sometimes I do coaching streams. Sometimes I vibe. Sometimes we're, uh, my aim is a little, as I pull off something like that, which isn't perfect, but it was definitely a better spray than earlier. I lost track of this octane. There he is. I think I'm pulling way too hard down on like the recoil right now, which I can clean up. Oh, rip. Yeah, you just got to flow with the aim. So that's why I like TDM. It kind of like resets you essentially. We've been down a person this whole time. I thought some. What the heck? I don't know why I got shot in the back for a second there. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Climb, buddy. I thought I was waiting for you. Pushing hard, man. Oh, my gosh. One more kill. No, don't die. No, don't die. Oh my God, we need one kill. We need one kill. Dude. Oh my God, that was close, dude. That was that was probably one of the closest TDMs I've had in a while. That was insane. I couldn't overextend on all those guys because I would risk losing, man. That's crazy. 
What's a good Legend of Solo kill? Pathfinder, Wraith, Valkyrie for your own rotation. 5,000 damage, isn't that bad? Man, that was close, dude. 20 kills. Over time, you just learn the center of your screen. The more you, honestly, the more you do TDM, you'll improve over time quite a bit. If you join the stream, don't forget to leave a like, guys. Every little bit helps. Seriously, it helps a ton. Bum 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 ba bum. That was fun though. That was a great. That was a great game. That was so close. Like I, I just didn't want to overextend. I was like, guys, please just don't run in. The other team started throwing at the end there, just like running in like maniacs. I was getting all the kills from it there. It, iti. Do you use aimbots? No. All natural, baby. Always has and always will be. It's been way too many hours aim training. And even then, it could be better. Unfortunately. Wow, good shots by that guy. Oh, I'm cracking people. Two kills. Oh, hi. You know what people used to do back in the day? If you couldn't see your crosser in the center of the screen, they put like a piece of tape or like a dot on the screen to help until you kind of memorize the center piece of your of your monitor. It's a, good, it's a helpful tool when you're first learning. Just putting tape. Like for a beginner, it's it's really solid. And even sometimes it's a good reminder if you're seasoned and say, hey, I need to reset and recalibrate, essentially. I think I did that like three years ago or two years ago. It was the last time I did something like that. And do it for like a couple sessions and then just remove it. Like a, a like a see-through tape with like a dot on it is ideal. Some people put a clear tape and then just draw a dot with like a marker, like the clear uh, the clear tape. I shouldn't repeat. What's something you would like to, to see Apex collab with? That's a good question. Um, what would be more realistic? Hmm, if we saw Apex collab with something. I mean, they kind of already been doing some of it, like the skins, but like not saying it's like an official collab, essentially. Like the anime skins were clearly like sponsored by actual anime, you know, like their inspiration. That's tough. I don't know. I genuinely don't know like who who Apex would collab with like who who they should. I think I'm more on the technical side of what I want rather than more of the creative side, I guess.
It's like I just saw him. I have him. He's right there in that corner. Nice. Always satisfying. Star Wars, but I feel like that with that when I, I was thinking Star Wars, but I was like, man, isn't that too like stereotypical to kind of go and say? I don't know. Because then I feel like all I'm doing is just copying what Fortnite's already done. I was trying to think of something that hasn't really been not necessarily done, but. No. Yeah, imagine Goofy or Mickey Mouse collab. Oh, look, I'll do it again. Look. Goofy just running around, just killing people with guns. Gosh, Mickey, I'm going to mess him up. I got my R301. Look. That was a great beam. I don't know how that one person didn't die though when I was shooting at him. I felt like there were like one bullet. What is your opinion on aim assist? Um, just play the input you enjoy playing. My opinion doesn't really matter or jack on aim assist because it's in the game, so can't really do much about it. Same with mouse and keyboard. It just doesn't. doesn't my my opinion doesn't matter. That was a really big ego challenge there. Hello, William. Hello. Oh, I think you're saying hello. This reminds me of Battlefield. Too bad the franchise is dead. Feels bad, man. It does. I really, I really enjoy the TDM aspect. It's really nice. It's kind of why I'm playing it right now. Good break from the BR. But again, my my thoughts and input, enjoy the input you enjoy and don't care about what anybody else says about it. Nice flickerino. Ooh. 360? Nope. Okay. Just one more. Oh. Alrighty. I prefer the idea not compromising the apex of Titanfall continuity universe. It's part of what makes the game great. I agree. That's why I'm like sitting here thinking like, what would you collaborate with? Because in it, like, it, I think the universe is fine the way it's built out. I think you could have themes for packs. Like a theme is what they've been doing. But I don't know what more you could do to like. It's like saying you like when when Fortnite kept bringing in everything like Dragon Ball Z. Like I remember I saw this one TikTok and it made me laugh so hard. Where it was um, Goku is training with Ariana Grande back at Kami's place, trying to learn the Jitsu high the Jujitsu whatever it was. I'm sorry, I'm screwing it up. Meanwhile, back over, Resident Evil zombie outbreak is occurring. Palpatine is trying to control the universe. Will there be enough time for the tell? You know, like it just gets, it gets crazy. You're just like, what is this? Like, wh what are what are we dealing with right now? You know, like listen, Fortnite has mastered community. Okay, like they have, they are the masters of marketing community to a T. But it gets so ridiculous. You're like Resident Evil, Resident Evil, Chris and Jill Valentine fighting Emperor Palpatine. Will Goku get enough for a spirit bomb to take down Kami? Will Luke Skywalker show up in time? Who knows? You know, it's just like, what? What is going on? And then the Avengers show up. And then who knows? Thanos snaps, snaps them and helps to fight Palpatine. Just like, I don't know what's happening, happening anymore. I like, what is this? <laughs> I love it. I think it's it's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely cool, but it's confusing.
I always thought it was funny. Like, it's just like the storyline, you know? It's just like, it's like a toy chest full of toys. And all of a sudden you're like, Buzz Lightyear is going to kill Thanos. And maybe Captain America might get the, the, the Infinity Sword and become a Jedi Master. But who knows? He might reach Super Saiyan 4 and become an evil Frieza. But who knows if that will happen? But perhaps Vision will show up and also take the power of Super Saiyan God and become the next level of Jedi, part of the sequel trilogy. And you're just like, my brain just like melts from what the heck I just said. Yeah, the world doesn't need two Fortnites. It's already one agreed. Like, it just kind of sounds like word vomit that's coming out. It's crazy. Like, I guess if you're playing with toys, like, you just put all your toys in the gr ground and you're just like, the Power Rangers are going to take Thanos' gauntlet and destroy Emperor Palpatine. And it's like, hmm? It's all, it's every kid's dream, you know? And I'm not here to crush dreams. I'm here to enjoy dreams. Why not? You know? I would normally grab a Sentinel, but you know what? I'm going back for that Sentinel. I'm going back for it. Don't freak John. Oh, dude, John Wick support it too. That's crazy. That's so crazy to think about. Oh my God, John Wick is there too. Whenever John Wick's dog was killed by Thanos, he knew it was over. Emperor Palpatine said, that's the darkest thing I've ever heard and decided to team up with John Wick. Then John Wick said, Thanos, you're going to pay. But then for some reason, Captain America paired up with Ariana Grande to put out a killer album. And that killer album was so dangerous that Captain America... Does okay, I'm sorry. Everyone's brain's just like, Daz, just shut up. Shut up, Daz. Show my gun early. Oh! Oh! I gotta reload. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Ah! Okay, I'm missing around too much. <laughs> nice. Use me. Oh god, there's two. They're getting shot at too. No! <laughs> that was fun. I, I I just heard through. I'm not gonna lie. I was having too much fun. Like I beamed him and I was like, oh, I'll run over the sentinel shot. I should have shot him. I'm just I'm just having too much fun now. George W. Key push. That's amazing. Whoever is in stream, just type that there, name. that's amazing. I've been past predators. I've been getting past predators in my silver lobbies. Do you think respawn should try to fix that? I'm sure it's only happening partly because predators aren't getting full lobbies, so maybe they're just sneaking in. I love your goofiness in streams and stark contrast if you're serious tone and guides. I'm generally the same person, but it's kind of hard to joke around in guides because the whole premise of the guide is to give you guys information. Imagine if I just baked in jokes that made no sense. Hello, welcome back, apprentices of Goku. Today we're going to learn how to super glide. Super gliding perhaps as fast as the Sonic. Sonic is fast, but he can't run away from the darkness. Like, then nobody would take my guide seriously. People were like, man, who is this guy? <clears throat> Oh, that's your alt? That's amazing. Bum, bum, bum. If you can't keep up, you're straight out of luck. Bangalore here. I have this running internal joke about Bangalore. I've talked about it many times on stream. That Bangalore is like, sounds like a chain smoker, but is not. Like I've created like this persona that makes no sense for Bangalore. So there's no logic here where Bangalore is like, for some reason her dad has abandoned her. That's my like backstory for her. Bangalore here. You know, my dad never came back for me. Bang like just all, everything is just like, cause she's, the reason why is that she always talks about like instructing people on things. And it just feels like she's like hurt in some way. And it just makes me sad. And so therefore we've created this, I've created this persona 
that Bangalore has abandonment issues or something. And like the, the tips that she gives, like level one armor here, it protects you better than my parents did. Just like, I don't, I don't know why. I, 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 it's just a weird character that I, that I've created for her. That makes no sense. It's not even, that's not even the original lore of Bangalore at all. At least I don't think it is. But I, I just found it really like funny and just odd. Maybe I have parent issues. Maybe that's why I'm just projecting. Guys, I need to be open. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I'm just going to imagine all of a sudden the stream turns into, I just start crying on the stream, bawling my eyes out. Like, you guys are always there for me, but, you know. Again, there's there's no logic with it whatsoever. I'm so dead. I don't know what's happening anymore. I know, okay, I, I know it's illogical. I remember we came up with it a long time ago. Where, or like Bangalore would hit, would like ping something and then we turn into like some like really sad story. Bangalore here. Or like level one magazine. It would be level two if I had really good friends. Like just like makes no sense. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just like, it's like she's teaching lessons, but then like the lessons are like projecting like really weird stuff. I don't know. Maybe there should be like a comical series about it. There's no logic behind it. Besides just being silly for the sake of it. Oh, hi. Three kills. Why won't? Oh, that's mine. Duh. I don't know. I, I can be really silly sometimes in the stuff I do. I know that like that conversation was like just silly, but it's just like I'm like just sharing something me and my friends have done before. That's just like, huh? That's so strange. Yeah, it is. Okay, you guys are getting crazy in in chat. You guys are getting the guys getting a little crazy. It's my fault. I opened up the floodgates for craziness. I I think that we went where we went south is when we started talking about Fortnite and Goku. Oh yeah, I gotcha. Uh, yeah, that works. Please keep talking about Bangalore sad stories. Maybe I'll make it into a series. Of like it's like comedy. Every once in a while, like I'll just drop some comedy for you guys. My, my Bangalore impersonation is horrible. I sound like a chain smoker. Bangalore here. It's like that Bangalore doesn't sound like that. <laughs> Did I go too far, Daz? I, who knows? I don't know. Comedy is supposed to have... I, I This is also a really interesting conversation because, like, comedy is supposed to be comedy. And if it's understood, like, with the pretext of comedy, the intention to make somebody laugh, it's like... The line always moves, you know? The other guy. Need to my 
Interesting. I don't know why she wide swung that again. Put a gen right here. Do you still play with Sarah? I try. I try to play with as many people as possible, man. This gets really busy. Is Wraith a main character if Apex was a series? Um, that was a good question. I don't know if what, who I would consider the main protagonist of the story. I feel like that's just what makes it a universe where it's just like it could be anybody. Like it could be Bangalore, it could be Seer. You know, it depends on the story that you follow. It's like a, it's a universe, you know? I guess with like the Star Wars, uh, yeah, moving up on it. Okay, this is a dumb push. I screwed up. I hit him for both almost 140. I hit one for 140 and the other one for like 120. That's unfortunate. What's the pros and disadvantages? It's just personal preference, that's all. There's really not any good side or downside. Man, how much did I spray there for both of them? I did a lot of damage. Oh, 96 on path, and then 100 and... F oh my god, I almost one clip the blood. Because he was on blue, I'm pretty sure. Wow, that's unfortunate. That's a lot of damage, though. GG's. Do you think Watson should get a buff? Mm, the only thing I would give her, and I've been asking many times for it, uh, is... Um, just give her the ability to... Uh, to give some shield when she reses. I think anything else, would she would just break the game. Like, she'd be too good. She's not really a healer, she's a controller now. I think otherwise she's fine. Hey TK, what's going on man? It's good to see you. How do you spell Saiyan? S-A-I-Y... I actually don't know. <laughs> As I'm trying to... There was a... Oh, what was it? Team 4 star? He's like, hi, my name's Goku. I'm insane. And then Vegeta's in the corner. He means Saiyan. <laughs> and Goku's like, there's one line he says that's super funny that Freeze's like, I'm going to fight you with both hands behind my back. I'm going to fight you without my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze is like, I think you're missing the point. <laughs> Noise. What do you personally use 16 by 10? Because it reminds me of Battlefield. That's it. There's no other reason behind it. Battlefield people look thicker, and I just like the way it looks because it reminds me of Battlefield. That's it. I played Battlefield as my franchise for a really long time. Little bracelet? First time I actually landed consistently some Mozambique shots. I was, you know what's crazy? I was actually there playing early access for Titanfall. I was one of one of the people who early access played Titanfall 1 and 2. Way back when. I remember there was like an NDA that you're supposed to sign to say, but it was, it's been so long now. I think the NDA was only for five years, which is why I know I can talk about it. Cause that was way longer than five years ago now. But I remember playtesting. I love the game. And I, I remember what, what happened is I playtested the single player, just like Battlefield 1 that I never really beat it. On its on its own because I play tested it early, you know what I mean. So like technically my profile says I never beat the story of Battlefield One, but I play tested it so many times that I'm like I already know the game, you know. So it was like uh, it was a little different. I, I love the story of Titanfall. It's it's really good. I need to play through it again. It was just a shame that Titanfall 2 released in between Battlefield 1 
and uh, Call of Duty. And then right beforehand, there was Overwatch that was doing really well as well. So it was just really rough timing to release Titanfall 2. That was my theory. I really think the game was fantastic. It was underappreciated. But I was always a big... Back then, I was a bit more of a Battlefield nerd, you know? Whoop. Like, I remember, you know, there's so, so many different iterations of what I saw early on for story and pathways. I probably just need to play through the game again, so then I can, like, it would probably feel fresh. Like, I remember when I did play through parts of Battlefield 1, the story, like, there were there were things that changed from when I playtested it. It was interesting how, how it flowed differently, you know? Also, back then, sometimes you run into, like, game-breaking stuff, which is why you're playtesting. And you, like, it would disrupt your kind of flow of, like, the story. Or like, oh, that section isn't built out yet, or, you know, so forth. But that's why they're called playtest and early access stuff, you know? It wasn't, back then, I, I wasn't even doing that for content. I remember I, I could record some early access stuff for Titanfall, but I wasn't much of a YouTuber back then. Like, I didn't make guides. I didn't make as much YouTube content as I do today, you know? I'm dead. I missed too many shots. You're a psycho, Pathfinder. You're insane! Why'd you push me? I don't like either one. I'm more of a... What's that one thing called? Um, I like a sour cream... Uh, the the ch cheddar and sour cream ruffles. Or the harvester chips. What are they? Sun, sun chips. A bag of sun chips. It's like... You ever, guys, have you ever watched YouTube Bad Batman? So you're... It's like, it's like you're not afraid of bats. I'm afraid of... You know, the Roombas and a bag of sun chips. Roombas, they're like mini Alfreds. <laughs> also, jingly keys, fun for babies, not for Batman. <laughs> I love those skits. Just a slide and a jump? No, whenever you go up, you're, you're literally hitting both inputs at the same time. Both crouch and jump at the apex of your climb. Let's see if I can get one. I don't do them often. I need to practice some more. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm getting shot by three different people. Oh my God. He didn't land a single shot on me. That's a wrong time to choose a 1v1. It makes me think of Bat Dad. Isn't it crazy how many spinoffs we've seen on YouTube of like Batman, Bad Bat, and like of that voice and parody? I'm not gonna lie, I thought the Batman voice was fine initially with by Christian Bale, but I felt as the series kept going, it just got a little more ridiculous. Also, I found it funny that people who knew his identity, he was still using the Batman voice sometimes. I guess maybe just paranoia. What if they're nearby and somebody hears hears me? I don't know. I always found that a little strange. It's like he's talking to a person who's like, You know, I'm Batman and Bruce Wayne, right? It's like, yeah, I know. I'm still going to use the voice because it's still pretty cool. You know, and it's like, I, I guess the consistencies of when to use the voice and not were a little silly. But I guess the, the argument would be, like, you never know who's listening. That hit somebody. That would have been hilarious. Are there people here? Yeah, yeah, there are. Wow. Hello, Loba. Bobo Boba. I love Sun Chips. I love the... The um, the red one. I can't remember. I can't think of the name right now. What's the red one? Because they have the cheddar one, harvest cheddar, and then the red one is um. I don't remember what it was, but it's so good. Maybe I'm just weird. I like. Does anybody else like sun chips? How come I feel like I'm not improving? 
I feel like I'm at a standstill with my skill. Mostly because skill-based matchmaking does kick in. Remember, like, as you improve, you're going to face better opponents. You should look back at your decision-making, like, when you're pushing, how you're holding cover and angles and your accuracy. But remember, like, as you rank up, you're just going to get harder and harder people, you know? Which makes it feel like you're not progressing, but you are. It's just one of those things when you're looking at your skill just close, so closely, it's hard to tell if you are actually progressing, you know? Other people may be able to notice because they're... I want to be up there. Yeah, Garden Salsa, thank you. It's so good. Did they kill him? Yeah, Christian Bill's a great actor. I just, I just was... Mostly talking about the choice of voice and everything. I liked it a lot in the first film. The second film was fine too. The third film I felt like kind of lost its way a little bit with it. But that's just my own um, perception. One of my favorite movies with Christian Bale and Hugh Jackman is The Prestige. Great film. Also, you know, Christian Bale's been a lot of, um, a lot of a Christopher Nolan film. What the heck? Oh, I'm dead. You got me, bro. Okay, maybe not. Feels bad, man. Sun chips literally feel like hardwood flooring. Why is stream so delayed? I don't know. I have closed captioning on. I try to... Also, because I want the quality to be higher, because these turn into VODs, I never take down any streams that I put, that I do on YouTube. I leave them all up. Oh, Lopa. Oh, Bobopa. Oh, God, I'm dead. Get shot by... I could be also delayed. I'm, like, responding. I'm not the best streamer, man. I, I try. No, it's mostly for, uh, I don't care if people stream snipe, but like, reality is I can't even tell. And honestly, I'm not even that famous enough or popular enough for people to stream snipe. That's probably why, you know, first off, I don't think anybody ha ever really has. If they did, they've done it very poorly, because I, I can't tell. If I can't tell, then you're not stream sniping well enough. Like, I don't recognize any names as stream snipers or anything, and, and I don't think I'm popular enough for it. We're about to win. We only need nine more kills. What is, in your opinion, the best wired for speed? That's what I use. I use it on my thumbnails and stuff. I love that skin. Also, VOD reviewing. If you really also want to bloom to add on to Cat Dog, you need to VOD review and look at your mistakes. And just be openly honest about the lead up to the fight. Like, was the lead up bad? Good, you know? Wow. I heard an ult. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm gonna hunt you down till the ends of the earth, Lober. Oh, she's queuing. Loba. 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 Is it automatically delayed? I don't know. If I lower the de the delay or whatever um, for processing speed, then the quality drops. And because these become VODs, I prefer if they have at least some decent quality to them rather than rushing the processing at all, you know? I, that's why I just leave it the way it is. It's just default. 
There is no like, oh, I'm going to insert delay. No, I just leave it on default processing. If I put on faster processing, I remember back whenever I was streaming, the quality just looks like what? This looks like crap. Good game, good game. All right, everybody. I think it's about that time. It's already two o'clock and I started earlier because I got to take care of some chores and stuff. I want to thank all of you guys for hanging out. Fire, thank you so much for, Fireborn, thank you so much for hosting the channel. Everyone, if you're still here. Biggest tips, don't forget to record your gameplay. Don't get mad, don't rage. Be kind to your teammates. They're your teammates for a reason. They're not there to purposely grief your game. You know, work with them. Don't work against people. If they are not willing to work with you, then, you know, it's like, uh, just be positive. Don't, don't be a jerk. Treat others how you want to be treated. If you want to be treated like crap, then I don't know what to tell you. That's crazy. <laughs> just, just be a, just be a decent person. Drink water. Don't forget to drink water. Yo, how's it going, man? Discover this channel because I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And yeah, we got, you gave just in time. Uh, we're a little over. I need to go out with my wife and go run some errands and stuff. So we got to go take care of some things. Uh, I appreciate you guys. That's kind of why I had to end a little earlier. I started earlier. So if you're interested, you know, I leave all my VODs open. Every single one of my streams are listed here on YouTube. I have a plenty of guides and tutorials for you guys here on the channel. The spectating series was released last Thursday. If you'd love the spectating series, you got to check it out. That first dub was absolutely insane. Tomorrow... I hope to be uh, well enough to uh, to upload a video regarding the new mouse that I'm using. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next stream. Bye, everybody.